Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. Transform into Wanda and enter the question and answer space at the beginning. Chapter 61. The following days were quiet for a long time. The Avengers have been looking for traces of Wanda, but Wanda didn't find it. Instead, they found Wanda's brother Pietro Maximoff, but that was just an ordinary big boy, and he didn't know where Wanda had gone. What has Wanda been doing during this time? She was just practicing in seclusion. She has been stuck at the peak of the single universe level for a long time, and is only one step away from breaking through to the multiverse level. Recently, she felt that she might break through at any time, so she went back to her daughter's country for seclusion. As long as she breaks through to the multiverse level, she can be regarded as a true boss in the Marvel world. How strong is the multiverse level? The essence of the Phoenix Force is the multiverse level. The Phoenix can spread its power to all Marvel single universes and parallel universes, which is a sign of the multiverse. In the same way, conceptual entities such as Eternity, Infinity, Death, and Annihilation that can spread themselves throughout the multiverse are essentially multiverse-level powers, but they can only show single-universe-level powers in a single universe. Just like the Phoenix's maximum power in different universes is only at the level of a single universe. If Wanda becomes a multiverse-level powerhouse, she can spread her power throughout the multiverse. At that time, she can choose a chaos magic host in each universe, which is the Scarlet Witch, just like the Phoenix Force in each universe. There are forces in the universe, or Phoenix hosts. At that time, she could also make all the Wanda Maximoffs in the Marvel Multiverse disappear, leaving only her alone, or turn all the peers into her clones. But Wanda will not really interfere with those peers. Miss Scarlet Witch, wouldn't it be better to have more? You have to change everything. Wanda doesn't want to do that. When she achieves diversity, she will choose a chaos magic host in each universe to spread her existence throughout diversity, and her first choice targets will naturally be those of her peers. At that time, Wanda can come to anywhere in the Marvel Multiverse anytime, anywhere, and become truly omnipresent, omnipotent, and relatively omniscient. Wanda's retreat lasted for more than a year. She finally broke through. The person she is now is different from the person she was before. She can also do the above-mentioned things. Sithorn's chaos magic was completely digested by Wanda. But at the moment she broke through to the multi-dimensional level, something happened. Wanda found that the environment around her changed suddenly, and she appeared in a golden hall. There are three people here, well, let's call them people. One of them sits in the center of the golden hall. Its body is huge and has three faces. Is this the court of life? The other two, one body twisting and changing, like the infinite possibilities of chaos. The other is majestic and solemn, like the embodiment of rules and order. Wanda guessed that these two might be the Lord of Chaos and the Lord of Order. They are both the incarnation of the rules of the multiverse and conceptual entities. They symbolize the chaos and order of the Marvel multiverse. When the order of the multiverse is greater than chaos, the Lord of Order will be stronger than the Lord of Chaos, and vice versa. These two are multiverse-level bosses. As for the Living Tribunal, he is a huge golden humanoid entity with three faces, representing justice, need, and revenge. The fourth side of his head is blank. In essence, the Life Tribunal is a multiverse-level super-life form, but due to the authority granted by a certain Marvel ceiling OAA, it can actually use powers that transcend the multiverse. To Wanda, this living court is the boss. As for the Lord of Chaos and the Lord of Order, these two are on the same level as Wanda. Wanda's chaos magic is about the same power as the Lord of Chaos, but the latter is more biased toward disorderly chaos, while chaos magic is biased toward infinite possibilities. As for the Lord of Order, this existence is very inconsistent with Wanda. If there is anyone here who hates Wanda the most, it is this guy, and Wanda can feel it. The Life Tribunal looked at Wanda with a face representing, need, and asked Chianda a question, are you willing to dedicate your power to the multiverse? It depends. Wanda's answer was sincere. Facing the Tribunal of Life, she couldn't lie. It wasn't that she didn't want to say it, but that she couldn't. The Lord of Order said, she is a heretic and a cancer in the multiverse. She may turn the multiverse into towards the other side of the unknown. But the Lord of Chaos had different opinions. He spoke for Wanda, objection, she just doesn't want to take responsibility, not to destroy the universe. 
The Lord of Order said. That's why I said she was a heretic, and I suggested that the Life Tribunal erase her. The Lord of Chaos said. Objection, the multiverse needs more possibilities, we need her. The face of the Life Tribunal turned into justice. Wanda Maximoff, Scarlet Witch, Lord of Chaos Magic, you can continue to stay in the multiverse but don't forget your original intention. Wanda came here inexplicably, and then was sent back inexplicably, as if the Life Tribunal just discovered the birth of a new multi-level super life form and pulled it over to take a look. After taking a quick look, he recognized a familiar face and put her back. This confused Wanda. But one thing Wanda is sure of is that the Lord of Order is definitely her enemy, and the Lord of Chaos who has been speaking for her is not a good person either. Wanda can see greed in the way the Lord of Chaos looks at her. The other party is not greedy and beautiful, but greedy and powerful. Wanda is not worried about the trouble caused by those two people. As long as the life court is still there, those two people can only stay beside the life court. However, Wanda remembered a plot in the Marvel comics. It seemed that someone from the Lord of Chaos and the Lord of Order, or maybe the two merged, suddenly stabbed the living tribunal in the back, and succeeded. If that happens, she'll have to be careful. Wanda shook her head, not thinking about these things for the time being. She left her daughter's country, came to the earth again, and began to observe the situation on the earth. She wanted to know what happened on the earth during her retreat in 0.0. Today's Wanda can see all over the world at a glance, and there is no need to use Sophons to monitor the world anymore. Someone is about to ask here, you are a multiverse level master, but you can only see a mere planet at a glance. Is this too low? In fact, everyone has different abilities, so the focus of abilities after being promoted to the multi-level is also different. Wanda's ability is not omniscience, but omnipotence. Even if she could connect the Scarlet Witches in different parallel time and space, she could only see what the Scarlet Witch saw, not the places they couldn't see either. If it were Jean Grey who mastered the power of the Phoenix, even if she didn't advance to the multi-level, as long as she could become the perfect Phoenix host, she would be able to observe the Star Sea. If you reach the single universe level, you can even observe most of the universe. By observing the world, Wanda learned what happened during her retreat. The Avengers have been looking for her but haven't found her. While looking for her, the Avengers are also preparing for the endgame that will happen in the future. After all, Wanda has shown Susan the war in the future. Knowing this, the Avengers of course we must make corresponding preparations. Not long ago, the Avengers destroyed a Hydra base in Eastern Europe and recovered the Mind Scepter from there. Because of Thanos, Tony Stark fell into deep anxiety. He persuaded Banner to work with him to create Ultron, saying that he would put on war armor for the world. Today, the Avengers held a banquet to celebrate that Hydra was finally finished. When Wanda saw the banquet, the corners of her mouth curled up slightly. Her clothes changed from casual clothes to a red evening dress, and then she appeared at the banquet. As soon as she arrived here, she was discovered by the Avengers. Tony, Captain America, Hawkeye, Black Widow, Dr. Banner, 24th Thor, War Machine Rhodes, and everyone surrounded Wanda who was in evening dress. Seeing this, Susan ran over quickly, stood next to Wanda, and said to everyone, please calm down, she may not be our enemy. Have you taken refuge with Wanda? Tony Stark frowned. No, I don't think she has any ill intentions towards us. You still remember the last Insight Project incident. In fact, it was not me who fought alongside you at that time, but Wanda. Susan talked about this matter. All the Avengers looked at each other. They began to recall the last Insight Project incident. At that time, Susan was definitely a reliable and good teammate, with all kinds of divine assists, all kinds of super gods, and the tacit understanding between everyone was at its peak. At that time, they thought Susan was performing exceptionally well. But it turned out that the Susan was not Susan, but Wanda pretending to be. What did it mean to be able to cooperate with them in such a tacit understanding? She just wanted to find her children. She had no ill intentions towards us, but tolerated us again and again. She was so powerful that it would be easy for her to kill us, but she did not do so. I think this is because she still thinks about our friendship in the future. Susan said to everyone, so we should also try to think about the problem from her perspective and try to understand each other. 
Susan, you really moved me, but I came here not to understand each other with you, but to watch a good show. Wanda smiled, but her smile looked cold no matter how you looked at it. Looking for a good show. What happens here? Susan asked Wanda. You will find out later. Wanda didn't say what would happen. She walked to the side and found a seat to sit down. She conjured up a glass of champagne and drank it by herself. Wanda doesn't hit the target without aim, she must be reminding us. Susan said. Are you sure she's not here to taunt us? Hawkeye Clint Barton didn't really believe it. In fact, Wanda's villain temperament was almost off the charts. No matter what the reason is, we should take this matter seriously. If a crisis occurs here, what do you think is the most likely reason? Natasha asked everyone. Let's evacuate the crowd first. Steve Rogers made a decision. So the Avengers began to evacuate the crowd. Soon, there was no one else in the Avengers headquarters except the Avengers and Wanda. Then everyone began to discuss what would happen if a disaster happened here. What are the possible reasons? But they discussed it for a long time and couldn't come up with a reason. Susan, you can ask Wanda again. Natasha suggested. So Susan came to Wanda again. What exactly is the, good show, you mentioned? If you say it, it's not. Good show. Wanda refused to tell. Please give me some tips. Susan refuses to give up. What's about to happen has to do with someone among you Avengers. After getting the information she wanted, Susan immediately ran to the Avengers, she said that what is about to happen is related to someone among our Avengers. What have you done recently? Hearing what Susan said, Bruce Banner thought of something and exclaimed, is it Ultron? He and Stark looked at each other, and then the two of them ran towards the elevator at the same time, going to the laboratory upstairs to check Ultron's situation, but it was too late. With a bang. The wall shattered, and several robots rushed towards it. Came in, the robot controlled by Ultron told everyone that it was created by Stark, and threatened that the Avengers were a cancer on the Earth, and then began to attack the Avengers indiscriminately. After a battle, the robot was destroyed, and Stark Tucker and others ran to the laboratory and found that the psychic scepter placed there was missing, and Ultron's consciousness also left the Avengers building through the internet. Wanda followed everyone to the laboratory with a look on her face, she looked at everyone with ugly faces and said jokingly, it's really a good show, isn't it? 907. Thor had a bad temper, and he glared at Wanda. But Wanda just raised her hand slightly, and Thor fell to the ground and fainted. Thor who fainted seemed to have had some strange dream, and revealed everyone was surprised to see Thor being killed instantly. You must know that Thor was one of the most powerful people in the Avengers, but he was, instantly killed, by Wanda with a wave of his hand. Even though everyone had always known Wanda very strong, but at this moment, they had a real understanding of Wanda's power. You must know where Ultron will escape to, right? Susan asked Wanda. I know, but I won't tell you. After the show is over, it's time for me to leave. I wish you good luck. Wanda waved to everyone, and then disappeared out of thin air. The Avengers, faces were all ugly, not only because of Wanda, but also because of the Ultron created by Tony Stark. Susan said. You all see come out, Wanda is here to remind us. Just because of the different positions, her reminder is a bit vague. I guess it's not that she doesn't want to tell us where Ultron went, but that even if we knew, we wouldn't be able to capture it. For the next period of time, the Avengers have been looking for Ultron. Wanda temporarily left the Earth and went into the universe. It took her a while to find Thanos and kill him. When Wanda returned to Earth, she found that the Avengers had snatched a robot back from Ultron. If the plot doesn't change, the robot will eventually become Vision. But Wanda didn't want this vision to be born, so she appeared again. What are you doing here? The Avengers were a little wary when they saw her. Wanda pointed to the unactivated robot behind everyone and said to everyone, if I don't show up, she will turn into vision. The Avengers, expressions changed after hearing this. Gotta get weird. Susan asked tentatively, you want to prevent your husband from being born. During this time, I have been thinking about a question, if I change the past, will the future also change? Or the future may not change, but a new timeline will be born. No matter what the outcome is, I want to try. If Vision hadn't been born, would I have had a different life, so you'd better not stop me. 
Wanda said nonsense seriously, and then walked towards Vision. The Avengers looked at each other, and they asked each other with their eyes if they should stop her. But in the end, all the Avengers were silent. They watched Wanda walk towards the robot in front of her. Wanda looked at the Vision in front of her. In order to make her acting skills realistic, she used chaos magic to control her emotions and make herself shed tears, pretending to be sad. She shed tears and touched the, Vision, face. Vision's body gradually turned into gray under Wanda's touch. The Avengers were shocked. They must know that Vision's body is made of vibranium, which is the hardest metal on the earth. Said to be indestructible. However, the indestructible vibranium was easily turned into ashes by Wanda. Such a method was unimaginable. Wanda picked up the mind gem in the ashes, turned to face the Avengers. Just before, I went in the universe, we will help you take down the biggest threat in the future. There will be no more infinite wars and no more final battles. You don't have to worry about half of humanity disappearing, and you don't have to go back in time to collect infinite gems. Wanda put down the mind s. Tone in her hand and left. Maybe she really meant no harm. This time even Steve Rogers felt that Wanda might not be who they thought she was. A few days later, Sokovia took to the skies. The war between Avengers and Ultron begins. Quicksilver Pietro also joined the Avengers and fought with them against Ultron. Wanda hid in the dark, slightly modified the probability, and redirected the bullet fired at Pietro without leaving any trace, so that he could survive the incident completely. In the end, the Avengers defeated Ultron. Sokovia began to fall rapidly. Just then, Wanda appeared. Under the watchful eyes of everyone, she used chaos magic to catch the rapidly falling Sokovia and slowly lowered it to the ground. After doing this, Wanda disappeared again. The Avengers look extremely complicated. It has been a long time since the last fake space Q&A live broadcast ended. Stephen Strange finally could not resist the temptation of magic and cast a spell and used secondary chaos magic. The magic of secondary chaos magic fascinates Strange. This magic is very versatile. It can produce water when you are thirsty, all kinds of delicious food when you are hungry, you can produce gasoline when you run out of gasoline while driving, and you can produce electricity out of thin air even if there is a sudden power outage at home. Strange also discovered that if he used secondary chaos magic when operating on patients, the success rate of the operation could be increased to 100%. Strange felt that he was becoming more and more inseparable from this magic. Until today. Strange got off work and saw Wanda standing there at the door of the hospital. He suddenly became extremely nervous, but after hesitating for a moment, he walked over and said coldly. Long time no see, Ms. Maximov. Strange greeted. Does my magic work? Wanda stared at him with a half smile. She knew what Strange had done with her magic during this period. After all, it was her power. Perfectly worked. Strange told the truth. He was a little nervous. According to Wanda, magic has a price. Will she come to collect the price from him? Strange has read many stories, and the devil in the story, it will always give some benefits to human beings first, and then that human being will encounter tragedy. Wanda looked at Stephen Strange with a half smile. The other person was very nervous, but tried hard to hide her nervousness. Wanda could see this. Are you nervous? I was just wondering what you were trying to do with me. Strange wouldn't admit to being nervous, especially in front of a beautiful lady. You use my magic and find it increasingly impossible to live without it. The reason why I am here is to teach you a lesson, to tell you that magic is like a drug, it is addictive. It's extremely dangerous to anyone, including yourself. Now, just experience the feeling of loss. Wanda smiled coldly, and then, turned and left. Looking at Wanda walking further and further away, Strange suddenly felt that the secondary chaos magic in his body was quickly disappearing. Strange, who was already addicted to magic, could not accept that he had become an ordinary person. He immediately ran to Wanda, trying to catch up with her and begging her not to take back the magic. However, no matter how much Strange chased her, he still couldn't. He found that Wanda was getting farther and farther away from him. He chased for a long time, but finally he was exhausted and stopped panting. He could only watch in despair as Wanda disappeared from his sight. For a period of time after that, Strange was very decadent. He was like an addict who was recovering from drug addiction. He always seemed anxious and uneasy, 
feeling that something crucial was missing in his life. Fortunately, this was all temporary. About a month later, Strange recovered from his addiction and his life was back on track. Having this experience gave Strange the clearest understanding of magic, and that is the price. He once used Wanda's magic. Although he didn't pay any price, this power comes easily and disappears even more easily. Isn't this a price? Strange was thinking that if the person who lent him magic was an evil guy, then the other party would definitely have a thousand ways to torture him instead of just a simple addiction to magic. As Wanda said, magic is extremely dangerous to everyone, including the caster himself. It has been one year and ten months since Wanda came to the Marvel Cinematic Mutant Universe. In two months, her question and answer space A level authority trial task will be completed. For the remaining two months, she had nothing to do. Wanda simply returned to her own pocket space, the Daughter Kingdom, to pass the time here. The elderly Steve Rogers, the elderly Peggy Carter, and their daughter Sharon Rogers, who were taken away by her, are now living in Wanda's daughter's country. The elderly Steve Rogers already knew that Wanda was not a person who would do anything to achieve his goals as he imagined, and that the other party did not return from the future, but a visitor from a parallel world. After knowing this, old Steve no longer was overly nervous about reality and could enjoy the sights of his country with his family as if he were traveling here. Wanda found the Rogers family by a waterfall in the wild inside the pocket space, where they were camping. It seems like you are having a good time here. Wanda greeted a few people. Seeing Wanda coming, the old Steve Rogers asked H. Er, are you done with your work? Yes, the Thanos you have been worried about has been solved by me. You no longer have to hide in the future. You can properly let some people know your existence. That's good. Elderly Steve breathed a sigh of relief. Get ready, I'm leaving you right now. Wanda said to the three of them. Sharon Rogers asked. Miss Maximoff, the people in your world know magic, and they all believe in you wholeheartedly. Is it because you gave them this power? To be honest, Sharon was surprised when she first came to this world and saw that everyone here knew magic. After the surprise, she was pleasantly surprised. At that time, she thought this world was a legendary magical civilization, and she wanted to apply for a magic school. But unfortunately, although there are many schools in this world, they are not the magic schools she thought. People in the Daughter Kingdom know magic more like an instinct than acquired learning. In this world, even dogs can do it. In the world of magic, Sharon Rogers, who did not know magic, had the illusion that she was worse than a dog. At that time, she had been thinking that when she saw Wanda next time, she would ask her if she could learn magic. Born in a superhero family, Sharon Rogers also had a dream to be a superhero, for which she had been strict with herself. When she realized that she could potentially learn magic, she became interested in it. Faced with Sharon Rogers' question, Wanda said, Magic is not as beautiful as you think, it comes with a price. I won't teach you my magic, but if you really want to learn it you can go to your father, he knows a place where you can learn magic. Half an hour later, Wanda sent the Rogers family back to Earth. Wanda came to her palace in Pandora City, the capital of the daughter country. The palace was very large and luxurious. There were many beautiful ladies here, and their identities were roughly they are equivalent to Wanda's maids. During the more than a year of Wanda's retreat, they were served by them. Do ent get me wrong, it's not the kind of lascivious service, they are just responsible for taking care of Wanda's daily life. For them, they can it is a great honor to come here to serve your goddess. Wanda enjoys their service with peace of mind, and turns the boring retreat life into a harmonious and beautiful vacation. Wanda comes here again and continues to enjoy her little life. Sister's service. At this time, the female vision walked out of a room in the palace and came to Wanda. She said to Wanda, Wanda, I found many unreasonable things in your daughter's country. You don't want to say that there are no men here, so it's unreasonable. Wanda asked back, the meaning of life is reproduction. Since there is a mother-child spring in the daughter's kingdom, the existence of men is not necessary. What I want to say is that there is a lack of species here. Except for plants and a few animals, there is not even an insect. Those animals alone cannot form a perfect ecological chain. There will definitely be problems in the long run. This is indeed a problem. I will create more magical species later to enrich the ecosystem here. 
Wanda nodded, accepting female vision's suggestion. Female vision continued, the space in this world is not stable. In theory, it is possible for existences that have mastered the ability of the space dimension, or civilizations with relevant technological power, to enter this world from the dimension of space, but here it is there is no defense at all, this is also unreasonable. No, this is reasonable. I am defense. If I encounter an intruder that I cannot deal with, no matter how many defenses are deployed, it will be meaningless. Wanda rejected female vision's second suggestion. She felt that female vision had obsessive compulsive disorder. Once she encountered something unreasonable, she would feel uncomfortable if she didn't correct it. She still wanted to say something when she saw female vision what, Wanda interrupted her, stop talking, come and sit with me for a while. Female vision nodded and sat next to Wanda. Wanda took advantage of the situation and moved her body closer to female vision's arms, and soon fell asleep. Who said that robots have no temperature, female vision's arms are very warm, and she felt safe because Wanda knew that vision would protect her. After sleeping until the next day, Wanda woke up and stretched out. Since you feel that many parts of the daughter's kingdom are unreasonable, I will give you a task to manage the daughter's kingdom for me. Wanda made a very irresponsible statement to quit the shopkeeper. Vision didn't realize that Wanda was irresponsible. Instead, she felt satisfied that she finally had something to do and could help Wanda take care of her world. Female Vision was happy to do this job and promised Wanda that she would make the daughterland a perfect world. Time passed, and two months passed like this. Finally on this day, Wanda heard the Q&A space system prompt tone. Congratulations on passing the A-level authority test. Your authority in the Q&A space will be upgraded to A-level. Just elevate the privileges and not send me home. Wanda complained. You can go back on your own. The question and answer space actually answered her question. Wanda rolled her eyes, then entered the question and answer space and began to check out the new permissions she had obtained. Unfortunately, this time the permissions still do not include Wanda's desire for plane transfer function, but in terms of Q&A videos, her permissions are fully unlocked. Only at the level of Q&A and video content, she can perform any imaginable and unexpected operations. In addition, Wanda discovered that she could pull people in across dimensions. As long as it is a plane that she can name, and that plane really exists, Wanda can pull anyone in the relevant plane into the question and answer space, and can also bring people from other planes to Wanda from the question and answer space. Da can also send them back to the world where they live. Wanda didn't understand this very much. Although she could already pull people from other planes and send them back at any time, why Wanda, as the owner of the question and answer space, couldn't send herself away? This setting was very confusing. Do we have to wait until we obtain S-level permissions before we can teleport ourselves? Wanda was speechless for a while, and then she stopped thinking about this problem. She left the Q&A space and was not in a hurry to leave the Marvel Cinematic Mutated Universe. She had promised to send Susan home, but she had not yet done so. And she also wants to return Wanda's body to her. Wanda left the daughter country and went to Sokovia, then summoned the soul of Wanda, the peer, and sent it into this body, and she came out of this body. The peer Wanda was in a coma, and she was sent to her home by Wanda. Then Wanda went to New York and found Susan. Go say goodbye to the person you need to say goodbye to, and I'll take you home later. Are you able to travel across multiple dimensions? Susan was shocked. Um. Wanda didn't explain anything, just nodded. I'm going to say goodbye to my friends now and pack the things I need to take away. You can come to my house to find me in the evening. In the evening, when Wanda came to Susan's house, she found that there were quite a lot of people here. In addition to Susan, the Avengers also came. They came here to see Susan off. See Wanda again, everyone's expressions became extremely complicated. Facing Wanda, they didn't know what expression to show. On the contrary, Wanda looked extremely natural, as if the person who was the villain was not her. Susan began to say goodbye to everyone. Wanda also began to say goodbye to everyone. After the farewell, Wanda took Susan and left through time and space, going to the old version of the Fantastic Four movie universe. In the Fantastic Four universe, because of the lack of Susan, the Fantastic Four are not fantastic. The Fantastic Four instead of the Fantastic Three is very strange. 
Susan quickly determined that this world was her home, and she excitedly gave Wanda a hug. Thank you Wanda. Like I said, I'm the only one who can help you get home. Wanda shrugged. Yes, you fulfilled your promise to me, thank you. Wanda, do you want to stay in my world for a while? I can take you around. Susan asked her. No, I also have a home to return to. Wanda shook her head. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the time has come to 2016. A lot of things will happen this year, such as the story of the superhero Civil War, the story of Black Widow, the story of Black Panther, and the story of Spider-Man. To be honest, in today's time and space, Wanda is not sure whether a superhero civil war will break out. Although Sokovia has not suffered, there will be no more Sokovia Accords, and Zemo has not lost his wife and daughter. There may be a conspiracy against the Avengers, but Eagle Sauce officials have always wanted to control the Avengers. Even without the Sokovia Accords, other troubles may have occurred. It can only be said that the possibility of a superhero civil war breaking out is unlikely, but it cannot be said that it is impossible. The story of the Black Widow will definitely happen, because the Red House still exists, and Natasha's, sister, Yelena will take the initiative to find Natasha. When Wanda returned to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, she did not immediately go to the Avengers Mars base. She wanted to secretly observe what happened here during the two years she was away. As she observed, she got a rough idea. There were many small incidents, but no major incidents. To say what surprised Wanda the most, it was Coulson's Time and Space Administration. This organization constantly recruited employees from different worlds and invited superheroes with righteous hearts from various worlds to join. Now it has become an organization that spans several centuries. A super organization in hundreds of parallel worlds. The Super Dimension Management Bureau is a busy department, because crises of one kind or another will always break out in the hundreds of parallel worlds on Earth. The Super Dimension Management Bureau seems to have become a fire brigade. Wherever there is a problem, it gathers people to run wherever it goes. Fortunately, the Super Dimension Management Bureau is full of talents and has sufficient manpower, otherwise it would be really busy. In order to welcome Wanda's return, Stark and others held a banquet for Wanda at the Avengers Mars base. However, the only people participating in this banquet were the Avengers, and there were no other people waiting. Before you left, you said you were about to evolve, but you didn't have an extra head or an extra leg. How did you evolve? Stark was quite curious about this. Wanda blinked. Everyone discovered that every time Wanda blinked, her eyes would change, first becoming cat's eyes, then snake's eyes, and then the compound eyes of insects and the eyes of eagles. Before everyone could be surprised, a pair of angel wings suddenly grew out of Wanda's back, and a halo appeared on her head. This halo was the halo of mind. As for the wings on her back and her the change in the eyes is just a small trick to manipulate the body structure. The change is not over yet. The angel wings behind Wanda seem to be stained by ink, gradually turning black from the roots. Wanda's eyes burst out with a penetrating scarlet light. Wanda's her skin turned blue like a dead person. After applying the special effects of the underworld, Wanda looked like an evil undead creature at first glance. However, this was not what surprised everyone the most. Just see the flesh and blood on Wanda's body she began to rot, and the wings on her back also lost their feathers and fleshy wings, leaving only the skeleton of the wings. Now she became like an angel zombie. Wanda performed a 72 transformation in front of everyone, it wasn't until 10 minutes later that she returned to her original appearance. When everyone looked at Wanda again, they were all shocked. Breathtaking. This is Bruce Banner's evaluation. Yes, this Banner did not go to heaven or go to Sakaar. Dr. Banner, who has mastered the ice heart art, can't come out if he doesn't want to transform into the Hulk. Now that there are no hidden dangers, of course he won't want to leave, but it's unclear whether Hulk wants to leave. Can I say this is inconsistent with the theory of evolution? Falcon Sam Wilson said. Sam Wilson was invited by Captain America to join the Avengers not long ago. Originally, Captain America also invited Bucky, but Bucky remembered that he had killed Stark's parents and was very angry about it. Feeling guilty, he refused. Stark also invited a new person to join him, his friend War Machine Rhodes. It's not scientific in itself for you to talk about science in front of magic. Clint Barton, who can barely be considered a master of magic, complained. 
After learning magic for more than two years, Clint Barton now masters many magic methods, although he is still far behind PK. Doctor Strange during the Thanos era, but if you compare it horizontally with the magician at Karma Taj, he should be almost one-third of Fatty Wong. Compared with Fatty Wong, who has been practicing magic since elementary school, he only studied magic for two years. Barton can catch up to one-third of others, which is considered a gift. Stark learned a detailed and in-depth understanding of magic from Barton, and developed the anti-magic armor in a flash. Clint Barton had a strong opinion on this. He felt that Stark's persecution paranoia was in the late stages and there was no cure, but Shrock still went his own way. Stark studied anti-magic armor just to face the magician, when there are ways to deal with them. It is worth mentioning that in the two years since Wanda was away, she used her own question and answer system to conduct two questions and answers in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Originally, Wanda only made this request to the question and answer system with the idea of giving it a try. She did not expect that the question and answer system would really agree. After all, the question and answer system was in a frozen state at that time. But the question and answer system is very smart. When Wanda said that if she disappeared for two years and did not appear in the question and answer space for another two years, she would be suspected of being the mastermind behind the question and answer space. After judging by the question and answer system, it felt that what Wanda said made sense and agreed to her. So in the two years when Wanda was gone, Stark, Natasha, Dr. Banner, Nick Fury, Carol Danvers, Loki, DC Diana and others went through two more questions and answers. During those two times, the question and answer space played Suicide Squad and Spider-Man Homecoming for them respectively. There were four questions, one of which was wrong, and the other three were 5.1 by Diana, Natasha, and Carol Denver. Sis' answer is correct. Natasha gets a desert eagle with infinite bullets from an infinite world. Diana obtained the Diablo version of the Amazon Hero template, mastered some new combat skills, and her strength was slightly enhanced. The reward Carol Danvers received was a Jedi Knight's lightsaber, but compared to Carol's own strength, this lightsaber seemed dispensable. In the end, this lightsaber was given to Carol as a gift. To Nick Fury. What does this cross-species shape-shifting ability remind you of? Tony Stark asked how many people. I saw the possibility of immortality. There are some creatures in nature that can live forever, such as the lighthouse jellyfish. Wanda, who can change her own physiological structure, should be able to do similar things easily, said Bruce Banner. She could live a long time without doing that. Tony Stark shook his head. He secretly collected things that fell off Wanda's body, such as dandruff, and took them for testing. Then he came to the conclusion that Wanda would not age at all. What principle is this deformation based on? Is genetic mutation controllable? Explores Bruce Banner. It is a subtle level of body control. My will can be dispersed into every cell and even the nucleus of the body. As long as I tell my cells what to do, they will naturally act. Wanda talked about the feeling when she transformed. Based on this, I can easily change my body structure from the cellular level, even like this. As Wanda finished speaking, her whole body suddenly exploded and dispersed into a large group of beautiful light goddess Morpho butterflies. Visually, there were thousands of them. Everyone stared at this scene with wide eyes, unable to imagine that a living person could split into so many butterflies. How to think without a brain? Do we need to think with our soul? What surprised them even more was that the group of butterflies scattered throughout the Avengers base, and then grew up one by one and became Wanda again. There was only one Wanda before, but now there are thousands of Wandas, all of them physical. But these Wandas have no individual consciousness, only Wanda has one consciousness, controlling them in multiple threads. These Wandas gradually walked back to the hall and merged with the Wanda next to them. Well, science really can't explain this. Bruce Banner has given up on using the scientific world to understand Wanda. This is the clone technique, which is much more powerful than when you use the robot vision as a clone. Natasha shrugged. Thor looked at Wanda blankly, and couldn't help but think of his mother. His mother was a witch, and a very powerful witch. Whether she could defeat her when she was serious, but compared with Wanda, she felt that her biological mother Frigga was just like that. As for whether Frigga was really as strong as Thor imagined, it was hard to say. Can you create a person using just one cell? 
Stark thought of a possibility as terrifying as, Fujong. It's very simple. The energy contained in one of my cells is enough for it to divide infinitely and rapidly. One cell becomes a person, one person becomes countless cells, and countless cells become countless individuals. The cycle repeats twice. The whole earth is me. Wanda made a shocking joke. Everyone. Although I have always known that she is very unscientific, what I want to say now is that she is even less magical. I have studied at Karma Taj for two years and I have never seen a magician like Wanda. Clint Barton's mouth twitched. I have said it many times, I am not a magician, I am a witch. Wanda once again emphasized the issue of titles. I have seen witches, but most of them are not as powerful as Kama Taj's magic apprentices. Clint Barton said, who says witches are not powerful? My mother is a witch, and a very powerful one. Thor said dissatisfied. After skipping the question of address, the topic was brought back by Stark. He mentioned one thing. By the way, Wanda, during your absence, the question and answer space was opened twice more. I know this matter. I felt called twice while I was sleeping in the daughter's kingdom. However, I subconsciously resisted and was not pulled into the question and answer space. It was only after I woke up that I realized what happened while I was sleeping. This matter. Wanda was talking nonsense seriously, and then asked curiously, whose story was played in those two questions and answers. One has nothing to do with us, and the other is Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man suits my eyes very well. Mentioning the little spider, Stark couldn't help but smile. Oh, by the way, Stark, have you ever paid attention to Gwen Stacy? She didn't get into a car accident while I was away, right? Wanda mentioned this matter. When she was about to leave, she manipulated the probability of Gwen Stacy's car accident. It can be said that the car accident will definitely happen, but it has nothing to do with the fake Q&A plot. Differently, Gwen will get into a car accident, but someone will come to rescue her. In the end, it will only be a false alarm. She does this to cover up her lies. She almost got into a car accident, but was saved. I think this may be the butterfly effect caused by the emergence of question and answer spaces. Stark said. The banquet ended with everyone talking about Wanda. After the banquet, Wanda went to the parallel time and space next door, number 838, to see Jean Grey. Seeing Jean Grey again Grey, Wanda received a resentful glare from the other party. Chin complained that Wanda had disappeared silently for two years. If she hadn't come to the Marvel Cinematic Universe through the channels of the Super Dimension Administration to ask the Avengers, if the truth came out, she would think that Wanda was missing. Wanda coaxed Chin and she was forgiven. The two dated for several days before Wanda said goodbye to Chin and returned to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Wanda is back and is ready to start her first Q&A since her return. But this time he has to filter out a few people. If there are too many people during the question and answer session, it will be chaotic. Wanda is only prepared to keep Tony Stark and Natasha Romanoff. Others such as Loki, Captain Marvel, Nick Fury, Bruce Banner, and DC Wonder Woman are all disqualified from entering the Q&A space. After screening out so many people at once, some new people need to be added. Soon, the Q&A space will be opened again. Wanda, Stark, and Natasha appeared in the question and answer space. There was another person who appeared here with them. He was a man in a suit and tie, about 30 years old, with a butt and a chin. Why are there only a few of us this time, where are Banner and the others? Natasha was puzzled. Stark and Wanda shook their heads and expressed ignorance. The former really didn't know, and the latter pretended not to know. Natasha analyzed, maybe there is some kind of rotation system here, which will change certain performances. The bad ones are rotated out. I don't think they performed poorly, there must be other reasons, but we don't know yet. Tony Stark shook his head. Three of you, can any of you introduce me to where this place is? The man with extraordinary temperament and handsome appearance but with a butt chin asked. Before he appeared here, he had just walked out of his manor and mansion to go to the company, but he appeared here in the blink of an eye. Although he was calm on the surface, he but there was a turmoil in his heart. He couldn't figure out what kind of means he would need to do such a thing. Who are you? Natasha asked the other party. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne introduced himself. Bruce Wayne and Diana are from the same world, but Diana and Bruce haven't met yet, because the story of Superman, 
man of steel, in that world has not happened yet, and they are far from justice. It will take some time for the alliance to be established, but Bruce Wayne has already become Batman. Wanda introduced this place to Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne was surprised by the magic of this place, but he has not yet completely believe a few people's words. Doubt everything. This is Bruce Wayne's style. Q&A video is about to begin. A big screen appeared out of thin air, and the video started playing. The content played this time is Infinity War. The video follows the Q&A video from Thor 3, Twilight of the Gods. The beginning of the video shows Thor, Loki, Banner and others flying to Earth in a spaceship carrying Asgardian refugees. Then they were attacked by Thanos. Attack. This is the first time a video about Thanos has been played in the Q&A space. Before this, Tony Stark, Natasha and others did not know the existence of Thanos, nor did they know that the Chidori invaded the Earth and Thanos related to hegemony. In the picture, Thanos killed Loki, took away the cube, and ordered Ebony Ma and Black Dwarf to go to Earth to seize the remaining two Infinity Stones. It's aliens again. Why are aliens always coming to such a remote place on Earth? Tony Stark complained, but his expression became serious. Through this video, Tony Stark and Natasha learned that the Chidori army that invaded the Earth at that time was a subordinate of Thanos. Thanos is coming to snatch the Infinity Stones, and of the two Infinity Stones on Earth, one is with Wanda and the other is with the Master Supreme. I don't think Thanos will be their opponent. Natasha said. I will not give the Mind Stone to Thanos. If he dares to come to Earth, he will never come back. Wanda snorted coldly. Do you often come into contact with aliens? Bruce Wayne saw the three people chatting about aliens in a normal way, and felt that they should not live in the same world as him, otherwise he should not be unaware of such a big thing as aliens invading the Earth. Greater than. Are greater than, there were two times. Natasha said, she asked Bruce Wayne, you don't know about the alien invasion, maybe you are not from the same world as us. Maybe. Bruce Wayne said, and then he asked, what are the Infinity Stones? They are six elemental gems formed since the Big Bang, which contain the power of rules. They are space gems, time gems, power gems, reality gems, mind gems, and soul gems. You should be able to think of them by listening to their names. Roll. Wanda said. Hey, Wanda, we are not familiar with him yet, so please don't reveal some information, said Tony Stark. He is not from the same world as us, and I can sense whether a person is lying. He is indeed not from the same world as us. Even if I know this information, it will be useless. Wanda said. I'm just telling you that people's hearts are evil, don't trust others easily. Stark shook his head. Bruce Wayne. The scene continues. Bruce Banner was teleported to the New York Temple on Earth by Heimdall. He told Doctor Strange and Fatty Wong, Thanos is coming. Strange went to Stark and brought him to the New York Temple. In the palace, Bruce Banner told everyone the situation and asked Stark to protect Vision, the holder of the Mind Stone. But Vision and Wanda left, and Stark didn't know where they were. Regarding the whereabouts of those two people, only the captain may know. Dr. Banner asked Stark to contact Captain, but Stark hesitated. Q&A appears question, why is Tony Stark unwilling to contact Captain Steve Rogers? A. They were having trouble. B. Steve Rogers seduced Tony Stark's fiancé Pepper Potts. C. The two completely broke up because of the incident with James Buchanan Barnes. PFF'd, Captain seduces Stark's wife, haha, ha, this option is so funny. Wanda couldn't hold back her laughter. This question was not asked by Wanda by controlling the question and answer space, but by the question and answer space itself. It asked the question and gave the options, so Wanda was amused. Even Natasha felt B this option is purely funny. Even if the world is destroyed, Captain Rogers will not be able to do such a thing as seducing someone else's wife. Without any discussion, they just eliminated B as the wrong answer. It's not the first time or twice that you've had disagreements with Rogers, and the first one is probably the right answer. Natasha joked. What about the third answer? Bruce Wayne asked. James Buchanan Barnes is Captain Rogers' best friend. He was once brainwashed by a terrorist organization over there and became a terrible killer, codenamed the Winter Soldier. He killed many people during the decades he was brainwashed. Many innocent people were rescued until a few years ago. Natasha said. 
Bruce Wayne thought of a possibility, Mr. Stark, have any of your relatives died, and the cause of death is a mystery. As soon as he said this, the scene suddenly became quiet. Natasha's eyes widened. She thought of the possibility that Bruce Wayne said. There was indeed something wrong with the cause of death of Tony Stark's parents. If it was really like that maybe, she didn't dare to think about it anymore. Never be true. Tony Stark clenched his hands. He would rather Bruce Wayne guessed wrong. If his parents were really killed by Bucky, he would definitely seek revenge from Bucky. Then he and Steve Rogers would also inevitably the most intense conflict occurred. If it really gets to that point, there will definitely be cracks within the Avengers. Mr. Wayne, since this is your analysis, it is up to you to answer this question. Tony Stark said to Bruce Wayne that he didn't want to tell the answer, so let Bruce Wayne verify it on his behalf. What reward will you get if you answer correctly? What's the penalty for answering incorrectly? Bruce Wayne is very cautious. He needs to ask clearly before deciding whether to answer the question. Answer correctly and you'll get what's most useful to you. The penalties for wrong answers are not severe, they are all innocuous punishments, at least we have not seen any excessive punishments. Wanda said. Bruce Wayne nodded and then began to answer the question, I choose C. Bruce Wayne answered correctly, congratulations on getting the reward. Scarlet Witch's music box in Bruce Wayne's hand, a music box that looked ordinary at first glance appeared. When he got this music box, the question and answer space conveyed the function of the music box to his mind. Wanda was stunned when she saw that the other party had received this reward. Isn't this the music box she had originally made? Um, no, this should be a replica of her music box. The function of this music box is that when its music plays, all surrounding electronic devices will become ineffective. This kind of music box is usually used by Wanda to construct Sofon blind spots. After all, Stark and Black Braised Egg both have Sofons. Wanda was worried that someone might be spying on her while she was sleeping or taking a shower, so she installed one in her bedroom and kept it ringing. Stark didn't pay attention to the reward Bruce Wayne received. All he could think about now was Bucky. The answer to this question just said that he broke up with the captain because of Bucky, but did not say the specific reason. But what Bruce Wayne guessed is most likely true. Stark, calm down first, things may not be what we think. Natasha saw that Tony Stark was in a bad mood and said quickly. Stark took a deep breath and suppressed the anger in his heart for the time being. He was ready to investigate the matter immediately after the question and answer was over. He looked at Bruce. Wayne held the music box in his hand and said in surprise, isn't this the music box made by Wanda? It turns out that this question and answer system will also use things from our world as rewards. Bruce Wayne looked at Wanda, did you make this? He didn't expect that this woman, who seemed a bit innocent at first glance, could actually create such a thing. I'm very capable, Wanda said proudly. Before anyone could say a few words, the video played the scene of Ebony Ma and Black Dwarf driving a spaceship to the Earth. These two guys were extremely arrogant and did not take the Earth people into consideration at all. Just th. E2 of them, came over. They fought with Stark. Dr. Strange, Fatty Wong, Little Spider and others. Bruce Wayne looked at Tony Stark's nanosuit on the screen and fell into deep thought. He thought did he have the ability to develop something similar. Then he came to a conclusion. It was possible, but it would take time. As the plot continued, Dr. Strange was captured by Ebony Ma, Iron Man and Spider-Man chased into the spaceship, and the spacecraft flew away Earth, went to Titan. However, before leaving Earth, Stark sent a message to Captain Steve Rogers and informed him of the situation. The scene turned to a place at night, where Wanda was talking to Vision. On a date, Proxima Centauri and General Deathblade appeared and attacked the two of them, trying to snatch the Mind Stone on Vision's forehead. A battle broke out between the two sides. It turns out you are so strong. Bruce Wayne was surprised by Wanda's power. Is Wanda's ability a superpower? Why are you so weak in the video? Tony Stark and Bruce Wayne have exactly the opposite view. Compared with the Wanda next to them, the Wanda in the video is simply on the ground or in the sky. There is no comparison at all. Maybe there is another one where I have never been exposed to the Q&A space. After all, this is a future where the Q&A space does not appear. 
You should know that my ability comes from the chaos magic of the ancient god Sithorn. However, Sithorn is an evil god and a super terrifying demon. If I don't have a mental aura, I wouldn't dare to do it. Use this power, because the more I use it, the more susceptible my mental state will be to Sithorn's influence. In the end, I will no longer be me, but a part of Sithorn. The me in the video should have been restraining myself. Wanda explained. So that's it. Stark nodded, that makes sense. But Bruce Wayne's eyes were twitching. How come even the ancient gods and demons came out? In Bruce Wayne's view, Wanda in the video is already very strong. But listening to the meaning of several people's words, isn't this the strongest form of the other party? The water in their world is deeper than he imagined. The picture continues. Just when Wanda and Vision lost to the dead general in Dark Knight when Proxima Centauri was about to be defeated, Captain America, Black Widow and others arrived, beat the enemy away, and rescued Wanda and Vision. The screen turned and they came to a spacecraft. This is the spacecraft of the Guardians of the Galaxy. It was sailing in the universe. They received a distress signal and flew over to take a look. They found that it was the wreckage of a spacecraft and many corpses floating in the universe. Thor floated over like corpses and landed in front of the spacecraft. Suddenly he opened his eyes and everyone in the spaceship jumped. The people in the spaceship hurriedly rescued each other. The scene continued to play to Gamora's memories. In Gamora's memories, she appeared in Zihuberi when she was a child. Pictures of life on the planet, Thanos later appeared and brutally killed half of the Zelhuberi people on that planet. New questions appeared. Question. Why is Thanos obsessed with wiping out half the population of the universe? A. He is a madman. B. He has been deeply hurt by this universe, so he wants to take revenge on the world. C. He feels that too much life in the universe will affect the balance. He wants to reduce the population of the universe so that the remaining people can live a happier life. D. He is pursuing the goddess of death and wants to offer her half of the life in the universe as a wedding proposal. Is this the purpose of Thanos, to wipe out half of the population of the universe? Bruce Wayne is glad this didn't happen in his own universe. There is so much information in this video. Natasha rubbed her temples. She suddenly felt a little tired. Why are there always aliens who want to invade the Earth? The goddess of death mentioned in option D is the death of one of the five creation gods you mentioned, Wanda. Does that kind of conceptual entity also have a gender? Stark asked Wanda. The conceptual entity has no gender and can be of any gender. It can appear in front of people in any image. Death can be a beautiful beauty or a skeleton without flesh and blood. Death defines the end of life. Once death does not exist, the universe will become cancerous and no one will die. Wanda said. This sounds very tempting, said Stark. No, this is very scary. People will not die, but they will grow old. You'd better pray that death will not cause problems, otherwise in a thousand years, everyone will become worse than death. Wanda said speechlessly. So do you think D is the correct answer? Natasha asked Wanda habitually, because she knew that Wanda was a lucky star, and the answers she analyzed were usually correct, and there were no mistakes. We know so little information, but I can try to eliminate two wrong answers. I don't think Thanos will seek revenge on the world because he has been hurt, and I don't think he is crazy to do so. In the video just now, Thanos when he wiped out half of the population of Zihuberi planet, his expression was not one of joy, but pity. He didn't kill with any ill intentions, it was more like he was fulfilling some kind of mission. So options A and B should be eliminated. As for C and D, I think both are possible. Wanda analyzed seriously. Let me answer. My intuition tells me that I should choose C, and my intuition is always very accurate. Stark replied. Tony Stark answered correctly, congratulations on getting the reward, force-sensitive physique and force cultivation methods. Tony Stark felt that his physique had become slightly different, but if he felt it carefully, it seemed that there was nothing wrong with it. A method of practice called the force also appeared in his mind. This is the reason why Thanos did that crazy thing. He is really a madman. Bruce Wayne thinks about all the guys in Arkham Asylum. There are always some madmen in the world, but madmen are not terrible. What is terrible is the powerful madman. Tony Stark lamented. What is the force you gained? Natasha asked Stark. Maybe it's a kind of cosmic energy. Stark looked at the information in his mind and continued. 
People who practice the Force are called Jedi Knights. They can use the Force to strengthen their bodies, sense life around them, move objects with their thoughts, and control the thoughts of others. By releasing Force Lightning, you can also use the Force to defend against external attacks, and even predict the future and extend your life. There is a saying that there is no Jedi who will die of old age before he is killed. If you want to say what aspect of this practice system Stark is most satisfied with, it has to be longevity. The force practice system instilled in Stark by Q&A space has been mentioned in the relevant introduction. Force practitioners can at least live for more than a thousand years. When Stark thinks that he can live that long, Stark is so happy that he temporarily forgets the threat of Thanos. He no longer needs to envy Wanda's longevity, because he can too. Can this way of practice be taught to others? Natasha was a little excited. With Wolverine's self-healing factor, she could theoretically live for a long time. What she envied was not the longevity of Force practitioners, but the means that the Force could give people. If you want to practice the Force, you must have a Force-sensitive constitution. There is a unique fibrous microorganism in the body of such people, which can help people absorb the energy in the universe. Such people are very rare, and it is difficult to find even one among billions of people. Stark said. Natasha was very sorry. The scene continued. Thor, the raccoon, and the tree people went to the dwarf country Nadaval to forge weapons. Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax and others went to the Collector. There to stop Thanos from getting the Reality Stone. As a result, Gamora was captured by Thanos. Things went smoothly for Thor. Thor used his body to resist the energy of the Neutron Star, and successfully asked the Dwarf King to help him forge the Storm Tomahawk. Everyone was surprised by the power of Thor in the video. Thor could actually resist the energy of a Neutron Star, even if it was only for a short moment. That was too exaggerated. This was nothing like the Thor that Stark and Natasha knew. This is probably related to the fact that Thor's parents and brothers died in the video, and the tribe's potential fully exploded. He's a real man. Natasha admires Thor very much in the video. Men should be as brave and fearless as Thor. This is a real man. I, Stark, admit that the Thor in the video is more handsome than me at this moment. It's rare that Stark doesn't have a venomous tongue. Is this your god over there? Bruce Wayne is more and more glad that he does not live in the same world as these people. He feels that the world is too full of demons. Bruce Wayne doesn't know yet, but his own world is not much better, and may even be worse. It's even more like a group of demons dancing around, but Bruce Wayne's time period is still relatively early, and all kinds of monsters and monsters have not yet appeared. The scene changes and we arrive at the planet Vormir, where Thanos sacrifices Gamora, and got the Soul Stone. On the other side of Titan, Tony Stark, Doctor Strange, and Spider-Man Crash landed here and met the Guardians of the Galaxy. The two sides had a fight without getting to know each other. Then, Thanos came. At the same time, Wakanda on the other side of the Earth was invaded by the Dark Order. The Avengers gathered in Wakanda to fight against the invaders. Thor, Raccoon, and Groot came to the battlefield accompanied by rainbow beams of light, killing them. Over on Titan, Stark and others faced off against Thanos. What followed was an extremely exciting battle. Stark looked at his future self in the video, his eyes lit up, and he felt that his future self the bleeding edge armor is great, but it's a pity that it's not made of strong interaction materials, otherwise it would have been able to fight Thanos longer and cause the opponent to bleed more. Bruce Wayne felt even more that he needed to develop a suit such as you have a armor like Iron Man. With this armor, you will be more comfortable when you are Batman. In the picture, Stark was defeated by Thanos and stabbed in the abdomen. Just when Thanos was about to kill Stark, Doctor Strange expressed his willingness to hand over the Time Stone in exchange for Stark's life. At this time, new problems arise. Question. Why did Doctor Strange hand over the Time Stone to save Tony Stark? A. He is a cover-up. B. Only if Stark is alive can the possibilities of the future be reduced to the only victory. C. He just wants to save people. This question is not difficult at all. Except for Mr. Bruce Wayne, we have all read the story of Doctor Strange and know that he is an extremely smart magician. Moreover, he is not a, jip, let alone just saving people. Give the time stone to Thanos, the answer can only be B. Natasha answered the question. 
This time Natasha did not give in, because both Bruce Wayne and Tony Stark answered once, and this time it was her turn. Natasha Romanoff answered correctly, and congratulations on your reward, the Phantom Cat's ability to travel back and forth. Phantom Cat's ability is to quantize its body and then pass through various obstacles. Even when the ability is developed to the limit, it can send people's consciousness back to the past. However, this ability has a weakness, that is, it cannot breathe in the quantized state, so this state cannot be maintained for a long time. Having gained this ability, Natasha's life-saving ability has been further improved. As expected, the only one who can turn the tide is me. Stark said proudly. Seeing how Stark was blathering, Wanda didn't even bother to complain about him, so let him continue blathering for now. Later, a hammer called reality will knock him awake. The story on the screen continues. Thanos came to Earth. In order to prevent Thanos from getting the last Infinity Stone, Wanda in the picture had to destroy the stone on Vision's head at the strong request of Vision. This also meant that Vision he was killed by Wanda himself. Seeing this, Natasha said in a deep voice, No wonder in the future of this timeline, Wanda, you will turn black. Based on what you said before, after Vision died, you no longer had the power to suppress yourself. Maybe. Wanda nodded. However, things are not that simple, because Thanos has already obtained the Time Stone. He controls the time in the area and restores the Broken Mind Stone. So far, Thanos has obtained all the Infinity Stones. Just before. Destruction when Tyrant was about to snap his fingers, Thor threw his storm axe at Thanos and struck it into Thanos' chest. But Thanos did not die, and finally snapped his fingers and left the Earth. Only the Earth was seen on the internet, and even in the universe, half of all life at random gradually turned into ashes. This infinite war was completely lost. In the question and answer space, Stark, who was still very shy at first, was completely dumbfounded. I said yes where is the savior? I am still on Titan and have not returned, so Thanos will succeed. Natasha also covered her mouth in disbelief, otherwise she was afraid that she would scream out. Bruce Wayne was once again congratulated on himself we don't live in the same world as them, otherwise one day he suddenly turns to ashes and doesn't know how he died. Wanda comforted a few people. Don't worry, I am super strong now. Even if Thanos collects all six Infinity Stones and snapped my fingers, I can also use Chaos Magic to offset all the power of the Infinity Stones, not to mention that the Mind Stone is here with my female vision, and he has no chance to get it. Bruce. Wayne was shocked. Is your magic better than that? Are the six Infinity Stones stronger together? Wanda shrugged and did not answer his question. Even if he said it, he might not believe it. What Thanos can do with six Infinity Stones plus Infinity Gauntlet, Wanda can now do it with Chaos Magic. As long as she doesn't suppress her power and fully unleashes her Chaos Magic, she can turn half of the population of the universe into ashes. Wanda's words made Natasha and Tony feel better. They both knew that Wanda was very strong, and with Wanda here, Thanos can't make any trouble, and Stark is also confident. He is stronger now than the one in the video. Not only does he have Sophons and Water Droplets, he will also practice the Force in the future. With these, Thanos' army there is no threat. Even if Thanos is dissatisfied with the gems, he is still confident to fight against him. The current Earth is quite a bit like a dragon in a tiger's den for Thanos. As long as Thanos comes, it will be very tragic. Infinity Stones Thanos, is no longer a big threat to the Earth. If he wants to truly threaten the Earth, he must at least be, Cosmic Heart Thanos, or, Controller Thanos. Otherwise, just Wanda. He can't pass it. But then again, if Thanos really gets the heart of the universe or the controller, his strength will steadily surpass the multi-level. At that time, Wanda should consider running away with the Earth. But those are all comic plots, and they may not necessarily take place in the movie universe. The scene continues, Tony Stark and Thanos' adopted daughter Nebula are riding the Milano spaceship of the Guardians of the Galaxy, floating in the universe. Except for the two of them, the rest of the people were reduced to ashes. The Milano spacecraft had no energy, and the spacecraft was damaged in many places, making it unable to sail. Stark and Nebula were trapped in space, unable to go anywhere, and could only wait here. Death. Both of them were in a very depressed mood. The wound on Stark's abdomen had not completely healed, 
and he looked extremely weak, as if he was going to die at any time. Fortunately, Captain Marvel appeared, holding the Milano spacecraft, and carried it all the way. Flying back to the Earth at the speed of light. Both. Stark and Natasha are no strangers to Captain Marvel. They used to not believe it when Captain Marvel said that he could fly at the speed of light in the universe, but now they believe it. That woman is real. Strong. Bruce Wayne's eyes twitched again, and he thought, there are too many powerful individuals in their universe. What should I do if I live in such a universe? Then all kinds of thoughts in Bruce Wayne's mind one by one, they emerged and figured out how to counter those powerful individuals. 4.9 Bruce Wayne believed that everyone has weaknesses, and as long as they master their weaknesses, it is possible to defeat the strong with the weak. A typical late stage of persecution paranoia, no one can the medicine can be saved. In the picture, the surviving heroes gathered together and licked each other's wounds. Nebula informed everyone of where Thanos might go. Everyone believed that as long as the Infinity Stones were taken back, the missing half of the population should be able to come back so everyone repaired the spaceship and went to Titan. However, they discovered that Thanos had used the power of the Infinity Stones to destroy the Infinity Stones. The last glimmer of hope was completely shattered. Thor cut off Thanos' head in anger, it can be regarded as revenge for those Asgard people who were destroyed by Thanos. The story ends here. This question and answer ends here. As soon as Stark returned, he shared the information he had just obtained from the Q&A space with the other Avengers. Natasha contacted Nick Fury and informed him of the information about Thanos. Everyone was confused as to why there were only Wanda, Stark and Natasha in this Q&A live broadcast, but not Dr. Banner, Nick Fury and others. To be honest, the Q&A space is so magical. Anyone who enters there does not want to lose the opportunity to participate in the Q&A. That not only means that they cannot learn more information from it, but also mean that they cannot participate in answering the questions and receive rewards. However, the Q&A space does not depend on their will. Having been inexplicably deprived of the qualification to enter the Q&A space, they can only accept their fate. Fortunately, there are still three people left, and they can still continue to get information from it. Stark and Natasha brought information about Thanos, which attracted the attention of the Avengers and Nick Fury. Although in theory, the Earth is now a dragon's den and there is no despair in the face of Thanos, but what should be done preparations still need to be made. However, Stark was not in a hurry to prepare for dealing with Thanos. After all, it was still early. He now needed to investigate whether Bucky was really the murderer of his parents. After Natasha contacted Nick Fury, she found Stark sitting there with a gloomy face, his eyes closed as if controlling Tomoko. She knew that Stark must be investigating the cause of her parents' death at this time. Natasha was a little worried, worried that if Bucky was really the murderer of Stark's parents, if that were the case, there might be an irreparable rift between Stark and Captain. She was thinking about how to deal with this matter. Should she hide everything, let Stark take revenge quietly, and then pretend that none of this happened? How is this possible? There is no airtight wall in the world. If the mage sits back and watches this kind of thing now, then what should happen will still happen when the captain knows the truth in the future. Natasha felt that she should seek advice from Nick Fury. In Natasha's view, Nick Fury was cruel and evil, and he always had many solutions. Maybe he could think of a way to properly solve the problem. Avengers Mars Base, in Wanda's room. Wanda sat alone on the bed, thinking about a question. It's not Stark and Bucky's problem, it's her own problem. She was thinking that since she could use the question and answer space to attract people from other worlds at any time, could she let the people she brought here go back and spread the name of Scarlet Witch to see if she could use chaos memes to enter other planes. But she also felt that this method might not work. If it did, there were so many people in Wanda's previous life who had read the Marvel series of stories. There should be n number of people who knew Wanda, but Wanda couldn't pass the chaos meme. Sensing that world. Based on this judgment, her chaos meme can only be effective in the multiverse she is in, and cannot allow her to connect to another multiverse in one multiverse. That is beyond the scope of her capabilities, unless she can break through to the super uni. Verse level. What is the super universe level? Let's start popularizing science here from the almighty universe. The omnipotent universe symbolizes everything and everything. 
The super universe contains countless multiverses. The multiverse includes countless individual universes. A single universe can extend into countless parallel universes. Only when it reaches the super universe level can its ability cover the endless multiverse. Wanda is now only at the multiverse level, and her abilities can only involve the multiverse in which she lives. Wanda thought about it and came up with several ways to exploit the loopholes in the question and answer system. For example, first use the question and answer space to summon people from other planes, then possess the summoned person, and then send the person back. This should be able to bring Wanda with him. You can also create a clone, let the clone possess the summoned person, and perform the above steps. Wanda didn't know if the question and answer system would allow her to exploit this loophole, so she was ready to give it a try. Who should be called? Wanda thought about the people she knew in her previous life, and wondered if she could use the question and answer space to summon them. If she could, it would mean she had a chance to go home. When she was a man in her previous life, she had a girlfriend, but she had to live apart from her because of work. After a long time, they broke up amicably. She is going to try to summon her ex-girlfriend from her past life. She came to the Q&A space. Then the calling begins. In her expectation, her ex-girlfriend from her past life actually appeared in the question and answer space. She was a beautiful woman with long black hair and straight hair, with beautiful features, waist-length hair, graceful figure, and fashionable clothes. She was the kind of beautiful woman who would be called a goddess by BNZ. Yes, when Wanda was a man in her previous life, her ex-girlfriend was so awesome. You ask her what she did in her previous life and why she found a girlfriend of this level. That's not the point. This ex-girlfriend, because she suddenly appeared in this strange place, was observing the place with surprise and uncertainty. O30 then she noticed Wanda. Elizabeth Olsen. The ex-girlfriend opened her mouth in surprise. She actually saw a big Hollywood star in this strange place. She felt that she must be dreaming. The ex-girlfriend spoke English very fluently. Wanda knew what the other party said. Who is Elizabeth Olsen? She was the Hollywood star who played the Scarlet Witch in her previous life. But Wanda pretended not to know and asked curiously, Who is Elizabeth Olsen? You do not know. The ex-girlfriend was surprised. Should I know? Wanda pretended to be confused. Uh, um, who are you? I am Wanda Maximoff, who are you? The ex-girlfriend was stunned for a moment. Are you kidding me? You can't be a character in the movie, and it's impossible for a character in the movie to travel through time. I don't understand what you are talking about. Who are you? Wanda asked with a frown. Then her ex-girlfriend began to introduce herself. My Chinese name is Philia, my surname is Fei, and my first name is Leah. I also have an English name, Philia. It has to be said that Wanda was a man's ex-girlfriend in her previous life, and her name was so foreign that she complained a lot about her. The Chinese name is Philia, and the English name is also Philia. There is no sense of inconsistency at all. Well, Wanda, do you know chaos magic? Philia asked cautiously. She didn't quite believe that the other party came from Marvel because it was very unscientific. I thought you would be more curious about where this place is. Wanda said. Yes, where is this place? Why am I here? Wanda, did you bring me here? Or have we been abducted by aliens? This is the place I created, where I experimented with magic, and then the magic went out of control, and after that you appeared inexplicably. Wanda casually made an excuse and explained the reason why the other party appeared here. Ah. Philia was stunned. Could this woman who looks like Elizabeth Olsen really be Wanda? This is unscientific. You said before that people in movies cannot travel to reality. What do you mean? Wanda pretended to be curious. Ah this. Philia didn't know what to say. If the other person was really the person in the Marvel movie, she didn't know whether she should tell him the truth, because this kind of truth would be too cruel for anyone. Philia couldn't imagine it. If one day someone told me that I was the person in the story, would I have a nervous breakdown? According to Marvel's settings, Wanda's mental state is already very unstable. If she suddenly learned of such a thing, would she go crazy and give her to Yang on the spot? Philia was prepared to lie for her own safety. But Wanda saw something and said to her, I can sense whether a person is lying. I know you are going to lie. I want to know the truth. Philia. In the end, Philia told Wanda the truth that, you are a character in the movie story. 
But Wanda was not as crazy as she expected, instead she looked calm. You don't believe me. I believe. Then why are you so calm? If it were you, I would definitely go crazy. I lost my brother, my lover, and the child in my imagination. The beautiful world in my heart had long since collapsed, and I was numb to everything. Wanda began to borrow Wanda's character from the original time and space again to carry out her evil intentions. Philia. It turns out that the other party is not crazy, but has already gone crazy. Philia came to this conclusion. Wanda looked at Philia and said sinisterly, but the information you brought me allowed me to see another possibility. You said, if I go to your world, control those screenwriters, and write a new will the reality of my world change if Marvel scripts are made into movies. Philia was dumbfounded. The other party is trying to break through the fourth wall. Philia couldn't help but think of another Marvel story she had read, in which Deadpool seemed to have crossed the fourth wall and ran to the comic editing department to kill the editor. Could the Scarlet Witch do something similar? Next, I will attach myself to your body and use your body to go to your world. I hope you will not reject me. Wanda stared at her and said calmly. Philia was stunned. She didn't think she had the ability to resist the other party. Since she couldn't resist, she could on. Lee suffer silently. Or, in the name of helping the other party, ask for some benefits from the other party. She Philia also has a heart to become a superhero, but the reality is too realistic. She is just an ordinary person with a bit of beauty, but now she sees an opportunity to rise. I don't know whether to say that. Miss Philia is realistic. Or should I say she loves fantasy, in short she is such a person, in a sense, she is quite charming like this. At least someone in the previous life liked her very much. I can help you, but I want to learn magic from you. Can. Wanda just waved her hand and gave her the secondary chaos magic. Philia mastered the secondary chaos magic in an instant. She tried it excitedly, and the magic was indeed activated successfully, and it was the legendary one. Chaos magic, this excited Philia. She immediately patted her chest with AD and said, Come on, you can enter my body. Wanda almost couldn't hold back the twitching of the corner of her mouth. What the other party said was too ambiguous. Wanda used chaos magic to turn herself into a ghost and possessed Philia. Then she gave orders to the question and answer space in her heart. Send Philia back. In this way, Wanda used Philia's body as a carrier and followed her to the latter's world, which was the world of Wanda's previous life. After arriving here, Wanda emerged from Philia's body. She first tried to sense the question and answer space and made sure that the question and answer space was still in her soul body, and then she felt relieved. Wanda was worried that if she traveled here and the Q&A space was left in Marvel, it would be awkward. Fortunately, that didn't happen. You actually traveled through time with me. Philia found herself back home, and then saw Wanda emerging from her body, and thought it was amazing. The people in the movie really came to reality. No matter how you think about this kind of thing, it's amazing. It was like a miracle. Wanda ignored Philia. She used her own eyes to look around the earth. Only then was she 100% sure that she had really traveled back to this world and that several years had passed. Wanda withdrew her eyes that looked around the world took one last look at Philia, and prepared to leave Yang. Wanda, please wait. Philia stopped Wanda. What else do you want? You know, I am an orphan, and I basically have no worries in this world. Well, I did originally, but I ended up breaking up with him due to work reasons, and I wasn't looking for a boyfriend after that. But that's not the point. The point is that I want to be a superhero in the world you came from. I long for that kind of exciting life which is better than the same old life now. Philia felt that meeting Wanda was her opportunity, and she didn't want to miss this opportunity. She wanted to take this opportunity to travel to the Marvel world and experience a more exciting life, even if she knew that the Marvel world was very dangerous. No matter what. Wanda, who is very familiar with Philia, was not surprised at all that Philia would make this choice. She nodded and said, when I leave, I will come here to pick you up. Uh-huh, thank you Wanda. Philia was extremely excited. She was already a girl in her mid-twenties, but now she was as excited as a child. Perhaps in the face of real dreams, everyone is just a child. Wanda left Philia's home, changed back to her previous appearance, used chaos magic to break through time, 
came to the outside of time, and traveled back through time and space through here. She came to the day when she died in her previous life. She was secretly looking at herself in her previous life. In her previous life, she was the owner of a small company with a market value of tens of millions. She was considered a model of entrepreneurial success. However, she was too much and too busy, so she was under a lot of pressure. Wanda saw that in her previous life, she took a vacation due to work pressure and went to the outskirts of the mountains alone to relax. The other party who was out to relax accidentally fell off a cliff and died carelessly. His soul traveled through time due to various accidents and coincidences. Wanda collected the body for herself. Then she went to meet her parents in her previous life as her previous life, compensated them for a few days, and then left a clone to continue playing herself. She then returned to the normal timeline and resumed her persona as Wanda. After being a girl for so long, she has already adapted to her identity as a girl. If she were to go back to the way she was in her previous life, she would not be able to adapt. After fulfilling her wish to return to her previous life, Wanda no longer has much nostalgia for this world. But now that everyone is back, she plans to play here for a few days before leaving. Let's move forward a little bit. Philia went to the company to submit her resignation and started packing her things, preparing to follow Wanda to the Marvel world as soon as she came back. While waiting for Wanda, Philia kept using the secondary chaos magic she had just obtained. Although this magic cannot modify reality on a large scale, it is truly omnipotent. Philia used the secondary chaos magic to imitate many moves in the anime, such as Rasengan, Thunder Release Chidori, Wind Release Razen Shuriken, etc., and the power shown in the anime is no different. Philia even tried to use secondary chaos magic to transform her eyes and give herself the Sharingan, and it really succeeded. At least her eyes now really look exactly like the three Magatama Sharingan, and they also have all the abilities that the three Magatama Sharingan should have. It's just that the upward Mangekio Sharingan is a bit difficult. She can make the pattern of her eyes turn into a kaleidoscope, but to imitate the ability of the Mangekio Sharingan, she still needs to think carefully. It was as if she had opened the door to a new world and was having a great time. A week later, Philia met Wanda again. Have you finished handling your own affairs? Philia asked Wanda. Well, it's done. Then you must have watched those Marvel series of movies. Philia is more curious about this question. When watching Marvel characters, the picture just makes you think it felt weird just thinking about it. She was very curious about Wanda's state of mind when watching the Marvel series of movies. Yeah, I've seen it too. You are too calm. Philia was speechless. Wanda did not answer her question, but said, Get ready, we will leave now. I'm ready and can leave at any time. Philia is already ready to go. Then let's go. Wanda took Philia and traveled to New York City on Earth in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Not long after arriving here, Philia discovered that the time here was in 2016. During this year, Vision should s. Till be alive. But why did the Wanda beside her say that her brother was dead, Vision was dead, and the imaginary child was gone? Are you from the future? Philia guessed. Just say it is. Where are we going now? Don't you want to be a superhero? Go and be one yourself. But I'm a gangster here. Wanda's eyes flashed red, and then she said, that's not the case now. You just need to go to the relevant department to report the loss of your ID, and they will reissue it for you. Where will I live? Philia asked again. Figure it out for yourself, I'm leaving. Wanda is ready to leave. She has no feelings for her ex-girlfriend in her previous life. This is enough. If I want to find you, how should I contact you? Philia asked. Wanda conjured up a piece of paper with her phone number written on it and handed it to her, then left and returned to the Avengers Mars base. Watching Wanda leave, Philia put away the note with Wanda's phone number written on it. Note. She looked excitedly at the Stark Industries skyscraper not far away. The existence of this iconic building truly told her that you, Philia, have come to marvel. After that, Philia relying on the secondary chaos magic, Leah made a lot of money and bought an apartment in the urban area of New York. Philia took the laptop she just bought and checked the information about the world online, and then unsurprisingly, I found that the plot development of this world is weird. Wanda appeared in the Battle of New York. 
Water droplets appeared in the Battle of New York. Was it the water droplet she was thinking of? How could there be a three-body universe in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Drops of water, this is unscientific. Also, this world is too peaceful, S.H.I.E.L.D. is still there, and the Ultron incident has never happened. What kind of Marvel is this? Philia is a little doubtful about life. She feels that she must came to a fake Marvel. What she wanted to experience was the original Marvel, not this mutated and shabby Marvel. So Philia called Wanda's phone number and asked her, Wanda, what are you doing? Isn't it strange why things happening in this world are different from those in the movies? Wanda on the other end of the phone said, because there is a space for questions and answers in this world. There is no question in the movie. Q and A space. What is that? Philia was puzzled. Wanda explained it to her. Then Philia suddenly realized that she felt that the question and answer space was even weirder. She said sheepishly, well, Wanda, I want to experience the authentic taste. Marvel plot, can you help me find a parallel world where there is no room for questions and answers? It is best to send me to before the birth of Iron Man. Okay, but if you get there and something goes wrong I won't be able to save you, you know, Thanos will snap his fingers. It doesn't matter, this is my choice. By the way, when I get there, do you need me to influence the fate of your peers, such as saving your brother? It doesn't matter, just do whatever you want. Okay. The crimson energy burst out from the secondary chaos magic in Philia's body. Wanda remotely controlled the energy in her body, guiding this energy to take Philia through time to a space where there was no question and answer. There are no weird trespassers. The pure and original Marvel Cinematic Universe. Wanda received a call from Nick Fury, who asked her to do a favor. As for the specific favor, Nick Fury did not say on the phone. At this time, Wanda had nothing else to do, so she went to S.H.I.E.L.D. and entered Nick Fury's office. Wanda was surprised to find that Bucky was here too. Bucky changed his appearance, but Wanda recognized him at a glance. You're looking for me probably because of Stark. Wanda guessed something. Natasha told me that Bucky might be the murderer of Stark's parents, and I confirmed it through Bucky. I didn't want there to be problems within the Avengers, so I thought of a way. Your help. Nick Fury tells Wanda his solution. This method is not complicated. He hopes that Wanda will use magic to create a double for Bucky and release it to avenge Stark, while the real Bucky will be hidden. In order to avoid problems on the captain's side, this matter can be told to the captain, but not to Stark. Just let Stark think that he has taken revenge. As long as Bucky is not discovered by Stark again, Stark, who thinks he has taken revenge, will not take the initiative to find Bucky. This was indeed a good idea, and Wanda didn't want the relationship between Stark and Rogers to crack, so she nodded and agreed. She cast a spell on the spot and created a surrogate clone for Bucky. She even helped out by making a magical mask that could be used to disguise herself, and gave it to Bucky. Thank you Wanda, I owe you one. Bucky said gratefully. Although Bucky was very guilty of killing Stark's parents and thought about atonement with death, he didn't want to die if he could live. Bucky put on the magic E that Wanda gave him. The disguise mask. This mask is very magical. As long as it is worn, Bucky's appearance will change. And the clone of the substitute can also be remotely controlled by Bucky through this magical disguise mask, because Wanda will the two things were connected by magic. After getting this done, Wanda said goodbye to Fury and Bucky and left S.H.I.E.L.D. Afterwards, Nick Fury contacted Captain Rogers and asked him to come over and he explained what happened to Bucky and his plan. For Captain Rogers, Bucky was one of his few friends. He didn't want anything to happen to Bucky and agreed to Fury's plan. One day later, Stark passed Tomoko finally found the whereabouts of Bucky on the Earth. He immediately set out to come to Bucky and asked him if he was the murderer of his parents. Bucky saw Tony Stark and said as if he was relieved, it's me. If you want to avenge them, please do it. Howard is also my friend. I have always felt guilty about that matter. This has almost become a my nightmare. Bucky, closed his eyes and opened his arms, as if I could finally atone for my sins from the Howards. Stark raised his hand, and the energy cannon in his palm was aimed at Bucky's head, but he no attack was launched. Stark found that he could not make a move in the face of Bucky who really wanted to atone for his parents. 
In fact, Stark knew very well in his heart that Bucky would kill his parents because he was killed by nine heads. Snake brainwashing is not entirely Saint Bucky. When Bucky really wanted to die to atone for his sins, Stark's heart, filled with anger and hatred, gradually calmed down. Bucky, who had his eyes closed, noticed that Stark was still reluctant to take action, so he opened his eyes and looked at him suspiciously. He only heard Stark's last words, don't let me see you again. After Stark finished Spia, King, he flew away. Bucky, stared blankly at Stark who flew away. He didn't expect that Stark would let him go. This matter seemed to have been solved perfectly. Even if the solution was different from everyone's imagination, this can be regarded as a happy event for everyone. In addition to the Mars base, the Avengers also have a base here in New York. People on Earth don't know that the Avengers, headquarters is on Mars, they only think that their headquarters is in New York. There is a portal in the Mars base that connects the Avengers to the New York base. Under normal circumstances, the Avengers will enter and exit from the New York base, which creates this illusion for the world. The Avengers New York base is built on the outskirts of New York, not far from the city. On this day, a courier was delivered to the Avengers New York base. It was an anonymous courier addressed to Natasha Romanoff. After the staff checked that it was not a bomb, a staff member made a call. Natasha's place. Natasha came to the Avengers base in New York and got the Anonymous Express. She was curious about who sent it to her. When she opened it, she found that it was some liquid in many test tubes. She didn't know what it was, so she took it back and gave it to Dr. Banner for testing. Dr. Banner's tests revealed that this is a drug specifically used to stimulate the human body's nerves and bring people back to consciousness. In theory, it can be used to treat vegetative states in people with mental problems. Dr. Banner also said, if someone is controlled by brainwashing, this medicine should have a miraculous effect. Nada, who sent this to you? After receiving such an answer, Natasha shook her head, this is an anonymous courier. I don't know who sent it to me, but since the other party would send me something like this, he must have asked me to bring it to the Avengers. This may be a warning that we may be in trouble. It happened. Dr. Banner, go and inform the Avengers about this. I'm going to trace the source of this decision. Good. Natasha took some of that potion and left. Bruce Banner told the other Avengers about this. To this end, the Avengers gathered together and held a meeting. When Wang Wang Wenda saw this chemical reagent, she guessed that it should be something Yelena sent to Natasha, so she said, let me use magic to divine its origin. When did you learn divination? Asked Stark. I just learned it recently, and the accuracy of divination is quite high. While Wanda was speaking, she took the reagent from Dr. Banner's hand and pretended to start divination. I can't imagine any scientific basis for this method of divination. Bruce Banner said that even though he already knew the existence of magic, he still felt that it was very unscientific. Wanda explained while doing divination, the principle of so-called divination is actually very complicated. Our human race has a collective the subconscious, all our human thoughts, unconsciously constitute an ethereal collective consciousness. It generally has no subjective tendency and is just a concept. The divination skill I know is to connect to the collective subconscious of mankind, capture things related to related things, and then get a vague answer in a way that is felt in my heart. This is my divination. The above theory was not made by Wanda, but a theory she obtained from the knowledge in Kamal Taja's collection. However, she did not use this theory to divine fortune because she already knew the truth. After listening to Wanda's explanation, Dr. Banner felt that divination was actually quite scientific, but he was more curious, is it possible for him, who is composed of human collective subconscious, to awaken himself? If he has a self, what will it be, the god of mankind? Perhaps call him Elia. Wanda said nonsense. Elia is a Buddhist term. Natasha said. Well, in some modern interpretations, Elia is the collective unconscious of mankind, which is in opposition to nature. Not long after Wanda nodded, Wanda said, the divination has arrived. The person who sent the courier to Natasha is a person named Yelena Belova. The person came from the same place as Natasha and also has the title of Black Widow. So it has something to do with the Red Room organization. Dr. Banner said, everyone knows more or less about Natasha's past. 
They know that Natasha is an agent killer trained by the Red House organization in the Solstice country, so they heard Wanda say that the person who sent the express coming from the same place as Natasha, everyone has a clue. As far as I know, the Red House organization was eradicated as early as the end of the last century. Is it the remnants of the Red House? Clint Barton guessed. Wait a minute, I'll do some more divination. Wanda said. After a while, Wanda, divined, some information again. She only heard her say, the Red House is still there, and it has secretly trained many Black Widow agents. Those agents seem to have been used by the Red House. A new technology brainwashes and controls. It makes sense that Yelena may have sent Natasha those reagents that would remove her brainwashing control because she betrayed the Red House and needed the Avengers, help. Captain Rogers made a judgment. I'll contact Natasha right away. Dr. Banner took out his mobile phone, contacted Natasha and told her the possible reasons for the incident. Natasha's voice rang from Banner's mobile phone, I think your analysis is correct. Yelena is my sister. We have been together since childhood. Adopted by a family, spent their childhood together, and were sent to the Red House for training. Do you need our help there? Asked Dr. Banner. No, I can solve the problem myself. Don't forget that I am no longer the same person. Natasha said confidently. Today, Natasha not only possesses the Wolverine self-healing factor, but also has the Phantom Cat's ability to travel through time, as well as a Desert Eagle with unlimited bullets. Combined with Natasha's own abilities, this makes her becoming a super Black Widow, in theory she can easily solve this matter. Okay, but I'll let Tomoko follow you. If you can't figure it out or run into trouble, our support will be here soon, said Stark. It's unnecessary. After the communication ended, everyone left the meeting to do what they were supposed to do. In less than 10 days, Natasha teamed up with her sister, adoptive father and adoptive mother to successfully dismantle the Red Room organization and save those who had been brainwashed. Black Widow Agent. Super Black Widow Natasha is still very powerful. After this incident, Natasha did not return to the Avengers base immediately. Instead, she returned to the Avengers base with her sister, adoptive father and adoptive mother. After all, we haven't seen each other for so many years, so we always have to catch up on old times. Yelena was very interested in Natasha's superpowers. And kept asking where Natasha got those superpowers. She also wanted to get superpowers. Ability. In this regard, Natasha lied and only told Yelena that she had acquired the ability after encountering some unrepeatable accidents. On this day, Wanda and Tunmei made an appointment to go shopping in New York. Halfway through shopping, Wanda received a call from Coulson. Coulson told Wanda that Jean was here looking for her. So Wanda took Chin to New York and went shopping together. Who is this little sister? Chin asked Tunmei. I am Wanda's good friend Janata. Tunmei introduced herself. Hello Janata, I'm Jean Grey. Chin also introduced himself to Tunmei. Then the three of them went shopping together. During this period, Tunmei started to cry out that she was hungry again, which made Chin think that Wanda was abusing the little girl and not giving her food. It wasn't until she went to the restaurant that Chin discovered that Tunmei, who had eaten food for 10 people, was still complaining about being hungry, and then she realized that things might not be what she thought. Are you always so hungry? Chin asked curiously. Yeah, 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 from the time I was born to now, there are very few times when I can eat enough. Why can't I eat enough? Do not know. There may be something wrong with your body, let me check it for you. Chin is a warm-hearted person. She wants to help Tunmei solve the problem of not having enough to eat. Oh, okay. Tunmei nodded expectantly. So Chin put her hands on Tunmei's shoulders and used her perception ability to feel Tunmei's physical condition. Then she was surprised to find that Tunmei's body was almost entirely composed of cosmic energy, which meant that the other party not human, which really surprised Chin. Chin asked Wanda in her mind, do you know that Janata is not human? Wanda responded to Chin with magic sound transmission, I know. Seeing that Wanda knew, Chin didn't ask any more questions and continued to check Tunmei's body. She found a large tapeworm as big as an adult's thumb in Tunmei's belly. The tapeworm was sucking out the blood from Tunmei's body. The energy grows slowly. This is why Tunmei can't get enough no matter how much she eats. Janata, you have a tapeworm in your belly and it is sucking your energy. Chin said. 
Tunmei was stunned. She stopped eating and looked down at her belly blankly. There's a worm in my stomach. Do you want me to help you kill that bug? Chin asked. Before Tunmei opened her mouth, Wanda quickly said, Don't. Seeing Wanda's eagerness to stop her, the two of them looked at her. Looking at Wanda's appearance, it was obvious that there were bugs in Janata's body as early as 3.8, but why didn't she remind Janata? They could tell confused, Wanda did not explain immediately, but asked Tunmei, Janata, you never know who your mother is, right? How do you know? Tunmei asked cutely. Because you are parthenogenetically reproduced by your father, you also inherited your father's ability to reproduce parthenogenously. The tapeworm in your belly is officially called the cosmic tapeworm. It is the child conceived by you. When the cosmic tapeworm when the tapeworm grows bigger, it will transform into a child like a butterfly. Wanda explained the reason. Chin was shocked, parthenogenesis, it sounded so high-end. Tunmei was also shocked. I am a beautiful girl, I don't even have a boyfriend, but I am pregnant. Tunmei learned the truth about her pregnancy. She was still very hungry, but she completely lost her appetite and just sat at the dining table blankly. If you don't want children, I have a way for you to eat the cosmic tapeworm in reverse without harming yourself, but this is equivalent to eating your own child, which is cruel, so I I never told you because the truth is sometimes not beautiful. Wanda touched Tunmei's head and said sympathetically. Wanda didn't know if Tunmei could accept the truth. Anyway, she would definitely not be able to accept it. Just kidding, how could Wanda give birth to a child? She also asked Shin to give birth to her. It always feels like you are thinking about some weird things. Chin said suspiciously. How is it possible? I am the most above board person. When Wanda said this, she suddenly thought of something that had nothing to do with the current situation. When she was a man in her previous life, she could still say. There is nothing I can't do except give birth to a child. But she found that she could never say this again in her life. Where did this inexplicable sense of sadness come from? Tunmei said with tears in her eyes, Wanda, Chin, I have to go find my dad on the 24th and ask him about the cosmic tapeworm. I'm sorry, I have to leave first. After Tunmei finished speaking, she left in tears. Wanda and Chin looked at each other. They left the restaurant and continued shopping. It's great that no one in your world discriminates against mutants. That's because there are no mutants here. Wanda complained, and then said expectantly, since you think it's so good here, just stay here and don't go back. Let's live together. Chin did not answer directly, but said with a half smile. Wanda, do you know that your brother always runs to my world through the Super Dimension Management Bureau recently when he has nothing to do? Wanda was stunned. She hadn't paid much attention to Pietro's affairs recently, so she didn't know about it. Chin continued, she also made a girlfriend there. Who? Wanda was curious. She is the sister of Queen Medusa of the Inhuman Kingdom, her name is Crescia Almaquilin, codenamed Crystal. It is said that Black Bolt is very optimistic about Pietro's ability and has already agreed to their marriage. Chin suppressed a laugh and said. Wanda was stunned. My chief brother not only has a girlfriend, but is also engaged to someone. What kind of divine development is this? Quicksilver and Crystal, these two seem to have existed in Marvel Comics. There was a fate, and Crystal even gave birth to a child for Quicksilver, but in the end the two separated. Crystal was forced to marry Ronan, the accuser of the Kree Empire. Crystal's brother-in-law Black Bolt also became the Kree. The new governor of the Empire, this is a political marriage. Originally, Wanda didn't know about this, but didn't she go back to the world of her previous life some time ago, and she made up for it at that time. The Marvel comic series and even DC Comics have made up for it, so she knows many stories of the American comic series. Wanda is considering whether to beat up Pietro and Crystal, the pair of Mandarin ducks. Because in the comics, Crystal also had an affair with Johnny Stone, the human torch in the Fantastic Four. I always felt that this little inhuman princess was very unreliable. It would be better to fight with each other now than to break up after they have a child. But Wanda thought about it again and realized that there was no need to do that. If Black Bolt really wanted to use the crystal to marry Ronan. Of the Kree Empire in the future, she, the Scarlet Witch, would not be just for a living, she would go directly to stand up for her idiot brother and suppress everything. Just don't accept it. Wanda stopped thinking about it for the time being. She said to Chin again, Chin, stay. 
Wanda, I really want to stay, but I can't let go of life in another world. Didn't you say you like the peace here? I like it very much, but this is not my hometown. Wanda, think about it for a moment. If you were asked to abandon your life here and come with me to live in my other world, would you be willing? Okay, I get it. Wanda said regretfully. It seems that the two of them can only continue to maintain the current mode of getting along. If they miss each other, they can meet each other in each other's world. Anyway, the portal of the Super Dimension Administration is connected to Charles. At the School for Gifted Youngsters, Chin can come to Wanda's world through a door. But it is even easier for Wanda to go to Chin's world, and it will be over as soon as she thinks about it. But soon, Wanda thought of another the solution is as bright as your eyes. Jean, come with me. Wanda took Chin's hand and took her back to her beach house on Long Island. Are you so excited? Have you thought of a way to solve the problem between our two branches? Chin asked expectantly. Yes, something like this. Wanda used multi-teleportation to create a door in the villa. This door was connected to the door of the Chin dormitory of the 838 Illuminati Universe Charles Youth Gifted School. She pushed the door open, and on the other side of the door was Charles Youth the corridor of the dormitory of the Gifted School. When Chin saw this scene, she knew what Wanda had done. She smiled unconsciously. This would indeed solve the problem of the two of them not being able to live together. With this door existing, Chin could completely stay in Charles in the future. She will continue to be her mutant teacher at the school for gifted young people. After work, she can go to the dormitory and open the door to Wanda. It is simply the most perfect solution. It is worth mentioning that Chin has now graduated from Charles Young Gifted School. After graduating from school, she became a teacher there and also an X-Men. Chin excitedly gave Wanda a kiss. Then, 153 later, finally. Anyway, some interesting things happened. From this day on, Wanda and Jean Grey lived together. Time flies, and two months have passed in the blink of an eye. Chin's school is on a long vacation, and Wanda is planning to take Chin on a trip to another world. She has even thought about which world to go to. Wanda first sent Chin to her daughter's country, and she entered the question and answer space, preparing to summon people from that world from here, and use their bodies as smuggling tools to smuggle into that world. System, I want to summon Lois Lane from the DC movie universe. The summoning was successful. Lois Lane appeared in the question and answer space. However, as soon as she appeared, she was knocked unconscious by Wanda with magic, so that Lois Lane would not know that she had been here. Wanda cast a spell to become a ghost and possess Lois Lane. System, send Lois Lane back. In this way, Wanda sneaked into the DC movie universe. Before Lois Lane was summoned by Wanda to the question and answer space, she was working at the Planet Daily in Metropolis. After Wanda possessed Lois Lane and sent her back, she came to the Daily Planet. People in the Daily Planet did not notice any abnormalities, because when people are in the question and answer space, time in the outside world does not pass, so even if Lois Lane suddenly disappeared in front of so many colleagues at the Daily Planet, there was no people notice abnormalities. To those people, Lois Lane never left. At this time, Louise's consciousness is still in a coma, and it is Wanda who controls her body. Wanda controlled Louise's body and sat back at the other party's desk. She was not in a hurry to leave Louise's body, but started to look around the world first. She observed Bruce Wayne and Wonder Woman Diana in this world and confirmed that these two people were the two people who had been to the Q&A space. Then she looked at the timeline here and found that it was still at least two years away from the story of Superman, Man of Steel. While she was observing the world, her daughter, Jean Grey, was in junior high school in Pandora City and was shopping alone in Pandora City. Before she was sent here by Wanda, she heard Wanda talk about the situation of this world. Knowing that everything here was created by Wanda, she was surprised that Wanda could actually create the world. This was incredible. Chin also discovered that everyone here believed in Wanda devoutly, as if Wanda was their god. While Chin was wandering, a person suddenly appeared in front of her. The person looked a lot like Wanda but was not Wanda. In Chin's perception, the other party seems to be a robot. Welcome to the daughter country Pandora City, Ms. Gray, I am Vision, the Archon here. Female Vision introduces herself. You know me. Chin curiously said. 
Yes, I take care of this world for Wanda. She will often come here to rest and mention you to me. N.B. Huan said, You must be very curious about everything here, so let me take you to have a good tour. Well, thank you. Outside, Daily Planet Headquarters. Wanda learned the information she wanted to know. Just as she was about to leave Lois Lane's body, the question and answer space prompt sounded in her mind, reminding her that the S-level authority trial mission had been triggered. The permissions of the Q&A space, from low to high, are C-level, B-level, A-level, and S-level. S-level is the highest authority in the Q&A space. Only by obtaining its S-level authority can one completely own the Q&A space. As soon as the trial mission with S-level authority appeared, Wanda's spirit was lifted, and she was not in a hurry to leave. Lois Lane's body was gone, but she focused her attention on the mission information. Question and answer space S-level permission trial task. Requirement. Accumulate millions of years of inherent time for yourself. After the trial is completed, you will obtain S-level permissions for the Q&A space. Closing square bracket. Wanda blinked, not fully understanding the requirements of this TA. SK. What does intrinsic time mean? Some kind of time ability. The question and answer system answered her questions. Intrinsic time specifically refers to the years you have lived. Turns out it refers to my age. Wanda suddenly realized, and then her eyes widened. If she understood correctly, in order to complete this task, you have to live for a million years. What kind of international joke are you kidding me? This so-called S-level authority trial task is purely for fool it, she couldn't see the meaning of this task. Millions of years were so long that Wanda felt speechless just thinking about it. But soon, Wanda thought of a trick to complete the task. She was completely she could go back a million years ago, and then find a place to sleep. When she wakes up from sleeping for a million years, the authority test task will be completed. She decided to do this. But before that, she needed to deal with it first after all, she has to sleep for a million years. The people in the daughter kingdom cannot sleep for that long. They have to spend millions of years. Wanda can't imagine her daughter in a million years. How will the Chinese civilization develop? Her pocket space is currently only as big as the moon, but the people of the daughter kingdom will continue to multiply. In a million years, the space there will definitely not be enough. Unless family planning and population control are done. Wanda doesn't want to in doing so, she wants to give the people of her daughter country enough room for development. So before going into seclusion, she needs to expand the pocket space as much as possible. This extends to a question, should she continue to maintain the pattern of a round sky and a square place in the pocket space? It was better to make the pattern of celestial bodies like the universe. The pattern of celestial bodies is relatively easy, but if the sky is round and the place is flat, more matter needs to be created. After much thought, she decided to make it the pattern of celestial bodies, which would save more effort. Wanda left Louise Ryan's body returned to the palace in Pandora City, the daughter country of his pocket space. At this time, Female Vision was wandering the streets of Pandora City with Chin. Female Vision had some kind of telepathy with Wanda, and when Wanda came to the first time she arrived here, she felt. Ms. Gray, Wanda is back, I will take you to find her. Sorry to bother you. Chin was brought to the palace by the Female Vision. Chin discovered that there were many beautiful girls in this palace that looked like a temple. If she hadn't been able to read the thoughts and memories of these girls, she would have thought Wanda was here. Opening a harem. When she saw Wanda, she said speechlessly, You know, when I saw those girls here, I almost thought you opened a harem here. You know I wouldn't do that. Wanda said this very confidently. How could she have cheated on her? Wanda has always been very clean, okay. Of course I know, otherwise do you think I would talk to you so calmly? Chin rolled her eyes charmingly, and then asked, Are you there already? I'm here, but there's something I want to discuss with you. What's up? I'm planning to go back in time and retreat, which may last for a million years. Can you stay with me? When she heard that Wanda was going to be in seclusion for a million years, Chin was stunned and dumbfounded. Are you kidding me? Jin stared at Wanda. No. I'm serious. What's the reason? Why did you stay in seclusion for so long? Practice. Wanda said guiltily, and then added, I think you should also practice. 
This is no longer the Marvel Multiverse, but the DC Multiverse. When you are here, the body of the Phoenix Force will be the same as the DC Multiverse. You disconnect. In other words, the Phoenix Force remaining in your body will not be as active as it was in the Marvel Multiverse. You can take this opportunity to completely transform them into a power that truly belongs to you. In this way, you will be able to when losing power, completely get rid of the influence of the Phoenix's will. Chin, you should be able to feel that the filter I set up in the depths of your soul cannot completely solve your problem. If you leave it alone, sooner or later you will still lose control. A million years is too long, I'm afraid I won't live that long. Please, you are the host of the Phoenix Force. As long as you don't lose control and let yourself destroy yourself, how can you really die? There are many ways for a Phoenix Force host to die, but death from old age is definitely not among them. Chuda is sure of this. Is a million years too long? We are going to the past and waiting for you to completely digest the Phoenix power. If you feel bored, you can spend these 493 long periods of time by sleeping. When you wake up, we will live in this era again. Chin finally agreed to Wanda's crazy retreat plan. When shall we depart? Let me expand the size of the pocket space first. After all, no one can predict how many people the daughter country will have after it develops in a million years. I am afraid that the small space now cannot accommodate them. Next, Wanda cast multiverse level chaos magic to extend the world. A few days later, Wanda's pocket space has been expanded by her to the extent that it can accommodate the entire galaxy. Not only did Wanda create such a vast space has also created about 400 billion stars in it, as well as more planets and satellites. In the center of this galaxy, there is a super black hole, which serves as the gravitational source of this galaxy. Wanda is again assisted by the female vision after calculation, these stars were arranged in appropriate places to ensure that they could carry out normal celestial motion. To be honest, this level of creation project is a bit large. Even the multiverse level Wanda took several days. It takes a lot of time to do all this. A pocket universe on the scale of the Milky Way is actually not that big compared to the real big universe outside, but is as insignificant as a grain of sand in the endless sea of sand. But it can do all this. Wanda still has a sense of accomplishment. This kind of thing like rubbing the pocket universe with hands has not been done by anyone in American comics, such as Mr. Fantastic Reed Richards and the Invisible Woman Susan in the main universe of 616 comics. Stone's son, Franklin Richards, can create a pocket universe. Jean Grey and Female Vision witnessed Wanda's creation project with their own eyes. Female Vision was very calm, and she didn't think Wanda could do it. How strange is this? After all, Wanda is a multiverse-level powerhouse. Isn't it easy to rub a pocket universe with her hands? Jean Grey was completely shocked. What did she see? Wanda actually rubbed a universe with her hands. After the shock, there was a deep sense of pride, proud of the strength of the other half. After settling all this, Wanda took Jean Grey and left the daughter country, N. D began to travel through the time and space of the DC movie universe, returning to a million years ago. The two the place where humans landed was Greece millions of years ago. This period was not long after Homo erectus appeared and it belonged to the Paleolithic age. This is also an era when the old gods are active. During this era, Zeus had become the god king of Olympus, but Hera had not yet become Zeus's wife. Zeus's wife is Métis, the goddess of wisdom, who is also the biological mother of Athena. But Athena was not born yet, but she was already pregnant. This era is so desolate. This is Chin's first feeling after coming to this era. There are no big cities on the entire planet, only settlements composed of Homo erectus. Chin also sensed some special groups on the earth. They are more powerful than humans. It is powerful, possesses many incredible powers, and has an extremely long lifespan. She read the minds of those existences remotely and learned that those existences were the so-called gods, but Chin did not feel that those gods were very powerful or that they were very important to Chin. As far as the Phoenix Force is concerned, there are not many individuals in the entire universe who can be called powerful. After all, this was an era millions of years ago, so you can't ask for too much. Wanda smiled. Wanda, I'm very interested in Greek mythology. Let's go there and have a look. Chin suggested. Okay. The two of them went to the Olympus mountain together. 
Zeus of Olympus is a classically handsome guy with short black hair and bronze skin. When Zeus saw two beauties coming to his territory, he immediately showed excessive affection towards the two women. Zeus was enthusiastic and entertained them. During this period, because Zeus was too lustful, he wanted to touch the two women, but was tricked by the piano teacher. Zeus, who was bruised and swollen, looked at Chin in shock, who almost burned all his hair. The other party this kind of power reminds Zeus of the three-phase goddess Hecate, who is the kind of existence that is strong enough to crush him. And these two women are obviously not as easy to fool as Hecate. Sorry, I was rude just now. I don't know where the two goddesses came from and where they are going. Zeus was very shameless. He was as thick-skinned as Zeus. Instead of resenting being bullied by a woman, he asked about the identity of the two women. We came from heaven and want to settle down here. Wanda said. On behalf of Olympus, I welcome you both. Zeus expressed his welcome. As long as these two women don't snatch his throne as king of gods, he doesn't mind letting them live here. Wanda and Chin settled in Olympus and built a temple here. Wanda gave this the temple has set up a barrier. This barrier can prohibit all male creatures from entering. After all, there is an old pervert on Mount Olympus that we have to guard against. The defense of the barrier is very strong, and the existence under the single universe will never be able to enter. But Wanda still felt unsafe, and she warned Chin. Zeus has the ability to change his appearance. When you see me in the future, you must first confirm my identity telepathically, otherwise I'm afraid that what you see is me disguised as Zeus. Seeing Wanda being so nervous, Chin couldn't help laughing. In Greek mythology, Zeus was indeed full of misdeeds. He once turned into an injured cuckoo to win the sympathy of Hera. He also turned into Hades, what about his daughter, Persephone, queen of the underworld? There are many similar stories, which highlight Zeus's erotic character. Wanda originally wanted to name the new residence the Temple of Chaos, but Chin thought the name was unpleasant, so she suggested calling it the Temple of the Phoenix. After a heated debate, Wanda finally missed the mark and the name of the temple was decided to be the Temple of the Phoenix. The Phoenix Temple on Mount Olympus will be their residence for some time to come. Shortly after the Phoenix Temple was completed, Meiti, the wife of Zeus and the goddess of wisdom, came to visit. Wanda and Chin received her, and they had a pleasant chat. When Meiti learned that Wanda was a goddess who mastered many magical magics, he communicated with her the secrets of magic. When Chin looked at Meiti, her eyes always showed some pity unconsciously. She hesitated to speak, wanting to remind Meiti of something, but she was worried that doing so would significantly change history, so she did not speak in the end. Chin knew the story of Meiti. According to Greek mythology, Cronus, the second-generation god-king of the Greek pantheon, was afraid that he would be overthrown by his children, so he ate his children whenever they were born. Hestia, Hera, Demeter, Poseidon, and Hades were all eaten by Cronus, and only Zeus, the last-born, survived. When Zeus grew up, he sought the help of Meiti, the goddess of wisdom, in order to rescue his brothers and sisters. At that time, Meiti was the goddess responsible for bringing tea and water to Cronus. She gave Cronus vomiting medicine, and Cronus vomited out all the children he had eaten. In the end, the six brothers and sisters teamed up to kill their biological father, Cronus. After that, Zeus became the king of gods and married Meiti, the goddess of wisdom. Some time later, when Meiti, the goddess of wisdom, became pregnant, Gaia, the mother goddess of the earth, was dissatisfied with the bad behavior of Zeus and others in killing her son, so she made a fable saying that Zeus would be killed by him and others. The firstborn child of Meiti was overthrown. Zeus was shocked, so he did not miss the old relationship, and ate Meiti, the goddess of wisdom, into his stomach as if he would retaliate with revenge. Meiti was the child born in Zeus's belly, namely Poros and Athena. Athena was released by Zeus, but Meiti and Poros and their son were not. This is the story Jean knows. Meiti's belly hasn't grown yet, but Chin can feel the two lives are being gestated in Meiti's belly. In other words, Gaia will make that fable soon, and Meiti will also encounter tragedy. After Meiti left, Chin said regretfully, she is a very nice person. I really want to change her destiny. It's best not to interfere too much with the past, which may not seem like much to us, but can have profound consequences for the world, and that's not necessarily a good thing. 
Wanda doesn't want to get involved in the Olympus gods at all. Forget about this, Wanda, how can I turn the phoenix power into a power that only belongs to me? Chin had no clue about this and could only ask Wanda. Exclude the phoenix will from the phoenix force and replace it with your own will. Wanda said. It's not easy. That's why it takes a long time. Anyway, you have nothing else to do in the next time. Makes sense. The seclusion of the two began. Chin used her own will to reversely imbue the power of the phoenix. This is not the Marvel Universe. The power of the phoenix in Chin's body cannot be blessed by the will of the phoenix itself. As long as Chi. N uses this kind of water sharpening skills, in this way, one day she will be able to turn the phoenix power into her own power. This may take a long, long time, maybe a thousand years, maybe ten thousand years, maybe even longer. Wanda is not idle either, she has not yet anxious to use her long sleep to accumulate inherent time, she wants to sort out her abilities in detail and further control them. With the same power, some people can only exert the power itself, but some people can use a portion of it as a 100% power user. Now Wanda is at the stage where she can only use the chaos magic itself, and is still unable to control the chaos magic to the smallest detail to the point where a single point of chaos magic can exert a 100% effect. This after several retreats, she was able to slowly control the subtle realm of chaos magic. The phoenix temple where the two retreated was completely closed, and no one could come in. Métis had been here several times, but he couldn't get in. As time went by, Métis' belly gradually grew bigger. Then Gaia, the goddess of the earth, came. She was a gentle-looking mother goddess, but she brought that embarrassing calling the vicious fable Zeus looked on with a solicitous look on his face, knowing that the fable of his grandmother Gaia was a curse, not a prediction of the future, which was bound to happen. After Métis heard about this incident, he immediately ran to the Phoenix Temple, hoping to get the protection of the two people in the temple. Métis knew very well what Zeus was like, that he was a selfish guy. In order to deal with the fable of Gaia, Zeus would definitely take action against her and her children. Métis knocked on the door of the Phoenix Temple in a panic, but the door was tightly closed with no sign of opening. At this moment, Zeus walked to the Phoenix Temple. He looked at his wife Métis who was knocking on the door frantically, and said, Métis, I don't want to do this. Métis turned around and looked at Zeus in horror. The fable of Gaia may not be accurate, she is just taking revenge on us. I can't afford the bet, so I will kill any possible threat. Métis, for the sake of our relationship, I will give you a chance to abort the child in your belly. No way. Then don't blame me for being rude. Zeus was about to take action. But at this moment, the door of the Phoenix Temple opened behind Métis. Jean Grey walked out of it. She looked at this scene with a tangled face. After all, she still couldn't bear to look at Métis, a kind-hearted person. The goddess was swallowed up by the selfish Zeus. When Métis saw Chin, he seemed to see hope, and immediately said to Chin, Chin, Zeus is crazy. He wants to kill my child. Please save us. Chin pulled Métis behind her and looked at Zeus. Zeus's face was ugly. He knew that he was far from Chin's opponent. If Chin wanted to protect Métis, he would have no choice. This is my family matter and I hope you won't interfere. Zeus said bravely. After all, she is your wife, and she once helped you overthrow your father. Can you really do it just because of the fable of Gaia? Chin said dissatisfied. Gaia is my grandmother, and I know her essence very well. Rather than saying that what she did is a fable, it is better to say that it is a vicious curse, a curse that is bound to happen. Zeus told the truth. Let Métis go, I will help you break this curse. Chin snorted coldly, and the terrifying phoenix power exploded from her body. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.